YouTube, how's it going? It's your guy Nutty Poo back with another video today, and today's video is our first franchise in Madden 25. I was super excited about this, especially after enjoying EA CFB 25 so much. I was really excited to give Madden 25 a try. Now, this is not going to be our long term franchise. With Team Builder coming to Madden 25, I'm going to be doing a Montana based franchise, bringing the first pro sports team to Montana and trying to win some Super Bowls for my home state. Today's franchise is going to focus around the Minnesota Vikings, who are a really fun team with some fun young talent in uh, Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison, along with JJ McCarthy, who they drafted in the first round, and Dallas Turner. I thought that they had a really fun roster for a rebuild. We're going to be playing the moments on this franchise, trying to get through as many seasons as humanly possible before we get into that Montana uh, franchise down the line. If you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to drop a like on it and hit that subscription button if you're enjoying my MLB, Madden, or EA CFB content. This is kind of turning into a variety uh, gaming channel, for, for lack of a better term. Um, I'm enjoying a lot of different sports games, and I hope you guys are enjoying a bunch as well. Without much further ado, let's get into our Vikings franchise. Like I've told you guys over and over and over again, we are going to be doing a Team Builder franchise for Montana uh, when Team Builder goes up and I have the opportunity to go build it. Yeah, this is a different game, Bree. <laughs> All right, so uh, first and foremost, let's go ahead and check out the, the roster for the Vikings. It's an interesting roster. What's up, Tay? Please tell me it's not a Seahawks jersey. I mean, I can't lie to you. So obviously, best player on the team, Justin Jefferson. Christian Derrissaw is also very good. And then TJ Hawkinson kind of rounds out the top three. Those are the three guys that our offense are pretty much going to run through. Obviously, left tackle, very, very important. You guys might know J.J. McCarthy, 71 overall, 21 years old, was the first round pick of, or one of the two first round picks of the Minnesota Vikings in this last draft. Also have Sam Darnold, a nice experienced veteran backup. I, I know he's very likely going to start in real life, but... There's no way he's starting here, man. <laughs> Sorry, pretty money. Aaron Jones came over from the Packers in the offseason. 88 overall, is 29 years old. At some point, we probably will have to look to get younger at that position, but right now he's a perfect, perfect stopgap. You are super young and super talented at the wide receiver core. You have 25-year-old Justin Jefferson, who just got a huge, huge contract extension, and Jordan Addison, formerly from Pitt and USC. Uh, who is also very, very good, came into his own last year. You do need a third receiver on this roster. I mean, Brandon Powell's not going to get the job done, unfortunately. At tight end, you have TJ Hawkinson, you have Josh Oliver, you have Robert Tanyan. You have like 19 tight ends on your roster for some reason with the Vikings. Makes legitimately no sense. Christian Derrissaw, as we already saw, 91 overall at 25 years old. Huge piece of the offensive line. Uh, Dalton Reisner is a 76 overall and 29. Garrett Bradbury is a 29-year-old, 76 overall as well. And then Ed Ingram is a 73 overall, 25-year-old. Right tackle, you have Brian O'Neill, who's 28 and also an 86. So you're set at the tackle position, uh, very, very much hurting in the interior offensive line. So that's Will Disley Seahawks throwback? That's sick, Mitch. You love to see that. Montana boy. Pal is nasty IRL. I love that. I haven't made any changes at all. How do you get Parsons? I have no idea, Isaac. I'm not playing Mutt. So uh, at left end, we have Jonathan Bullard. We're running a 3-4, which is going to be interesting. Jerry Tillery is the right end. Used to be very, very good. Has fallen off a little bit as he's aged. Harrison Phillips, 80 overall at 28 years old. He's going to be a nice stopgap for a few years. Their second first round pick is Dallas Turner, 21 year old from Alabama. Should be very, very good. I'd imagine he has a very good dev trait. Also, Patrick Jones backing him up there. Middle linebacker, you have Blake Cashman and Ivan Pace Jr., 23 years old, 76 overall. Hopefully, he can develop a little bit. Andrew Van Ginkle is a big free agent pickup from the Miami Dolphins. Will be starting for us at right outside linebacker, at least for a couple years. Also, have Jonathan Greenard um, behind him. At corner, this is a real, real weak spot for this Minnesota Vikings team. So you have Byron Murphy, you have Makai Blackman, and Shaq Griffin making your top three. Uh, Evans and, unfortunately, Andrew Booth Jr. just never developed. He just got traded in real life, so he's not actually on the squad anymore. At safety, you have Cameron Bynum, who's an 81 overall at 26 years old, and Harrison Smith out there trotting out at almost 40 years old, 87 overall, very good, but very likely not going to be here for the long term. So, I mean, the big, there's a lot, a lot of holes on this team, but you're kind of set at like the primary positions. You have a super young first round pick quarterback. 
you have a very, very good top two wide receivers, you have very good tackles, and you have a new pass rusher who should be very, very good. So, like, legitimately, you're set at all of the core positions, but everything else is a hole on the roster. One thing that I am going to do right away, actually, before I want to do that, let's go back here and uh, have to look at one more thing. Thoughts on doing a Seahawks franchise? Oh, that's a great idea. Vikings fan, Steelers fan? I'm a Steelers fan, Evan. I'm just doing the Vikings because it was a, it seemed like a fun, fun rebuild for a little bit. We have no draft picks. We have a first rounder, a second rounder, and then nothing until two in the fifth and a sixth and a seventh next year. So we don't have a third or a fourth. That is brutal. It is a Kenneth Walker jersey. Yeah. Aiden on O'Connell. I mean, listen, you got to do what you got to do. But one thing I did want to do is there's a whole heck of a lot of free agents. Uh, what's up, Chris? Justin Simmons, Stefan, uh, Stefan Gilmore, Micah Hyde, David Bakhtiari, Jamal Adams, Xavier Howard, Quandre Diggs, Connor Williams, Eddie Jackson. Damn, there's a lot of good safeties. Pat Pete, I could be bring Pat Pete back to Minnesota. But honestly, the one of the changes that I think we're going to do here is we're going to bring in Stefan Gilmore. So Stefan Gilmore, I don't know if you guys heard, did just card. visit with the Vikings in real life. I think he makes a lot of sense, especially with having a huge, huge need at corner. So we're going to go ahead and sign him. Uh, I think that makes a whole lot of sense for the Vikings. Watch Sam Darnold light up this year. I mean, it's interesting. He is not honored now. The auction house says I've done too much already. Haven't done any whatsoever. I have no idea. I, I am not the person to ask about Mutt, man. I, uh, I don't play it, so I really have no frame of reference for you. Are there any defensive ends? Emmanuel Ogbo, Lawrence Guy, Shaq Lawson, Jerry Hughes. Eh. What about wide receivers? I could use a third receiver. Michael Thomas doesn't really fit that mold. Hunter Renfro would be interesting as a slot receiver, although Jordan Addison realistically is probably going to be, be my slot, so I could use a, another outside guy. I mean, like, Russell Gage wouldn't be terrible. Uh, <laughs> fucking Robbie Anderson. Oh, God. Randall Cobb retired in real life. Marquis Goodwin could be a pretty decent outside receiver, although he's only 5'9". Auction house is broken for everyone. That's tough. Thoughts on this year's MLB The Show? I don't think it's bad as everyone says it was. What's the hat? It's the Hartford Yard Goats Marvel Defenders hat. Blazing Chaos, think of that follow. Mad Knives, think of that follow. Honestly, I have no idea. If you guys have checked out the, the stream over on Twitter, how does it look? I legitimately... I haven't... I, I don't know anything about my stream over on Twitter. Is it still playing over there? Man, I think I'm going to take, take a pass. Although, Willie Sneed, man, that's a name I haven't thought about in a hot minute. Facts, user. Is it the same old Madden? I don't know. I legitimately haven't played it yet. I am just jumping on. So we do first things first, have to hit our training ga uh, camp. Gob, thank you for that tier one. Much appreciated, my guy. Let's go ahead and start with pocket presence. I like doing pocket presence more than I enjoy doing target passing. I'm kind of hot ass at target passing. So we'll go pocket presence with uh, JJ McCarthy here. See if we can get a solid... Gold, wow, the movement in the pocket feels so different in comparison to NCAA football. It's going to take me a hot minute to get used to. That's the one thing. Like, after playing NCAA for so long, jumping onto Madden is is legitimately brutal. It feels so it feels so different. It's not as wide open. The movement feels a lot more grounded. It doesn't feel as arcadey as uh, EA College football does, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing. It just, it just feels a little bit more realistic. It's kind of what makes EA College football fun, right? It's kind of arcadey. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, whereas this game is like really more more so focused a little bit more on realism. EA games have always historically been a little bit arcadey, but you can definitely sense the the realism here more so than the uh, what you get on EA College football. Damn, I needed to hit all of that for... I'm going to have to redo this one. I had it, chat, and then I absolutely fumbled the bag on like the last 10 seconds of this drill. Are you going to play every week, every game? I'm not going to play every, like full games. I'm going to be playing the moments. We're going to, this is going to be a play the moments franchise. We will do a play every game franchise, but we're going to wait until we get team builder in because I'm going to do a Montana based team builder. 
Uh, there's no professional sports teams in Montana. Bringing a team to Montana as a professional sports team would be sick for me, obviously, personally. So I think the plan is to take the Arizona Cardinals and move them to Montana because it makes sense to be in the NFC or AFC West. I do wish, if you're going to bring Team Builder in, I kind of wish there was more customization on, like, changing or, like, doing expansion would be pretty cool. And uh, making it so you could, like, re change the divisions would be super, super cool. But right now you're kind of you're kind of locked into making a change that makes sense regionally. So at least that would bring if you do take the Arizona Cardinals, you would have a fun fun time with Marvin Harrison, obviously Kyler Murray. Um, the other big thing is you would have a built-in rivalry with the Seattle Seahawks, which would kind of be cool, just like regionally speaking. So like I think that's that's going to be the ultimate plan. Sorry, I'll look down at chat in just a second, guys. Give me one sec. All right, barely get gold there. We're chilling. Appreciate that, NFL. Wait, is that not the real NFL, but appreciate that. <laughs> Which one do you prefer starting first? I mean, they're way different, right? They're like Madden, Madden franchises and NCAA dynasties aren't going to feel anything alike at all. What's a good team I should rebuild? There's a lot of fun teams. Like, do you want a team that just drafted a quarterback? Like the storylines and franchise, people are saying they enjoy it. They don't have revamped passing. They do not. They do not. Who's going to be your franchise team for Madden? So we're starting with the um, Minnesota Vikings on a play the moments. But realistically, what we're actually going to do is a team builder dynasty or team builder franchise when it goes when it goes live. It's out. It is out for early release. Came out today. All right. This is quite possibly the easiest like training camp mode of all time. Like basically you just got to follow your block and then get to the outside. And it's like a guaranteed touchdown every single time. Montana Joe's has a nice ring to it. I think I'm going to do the Montana glacier. Obviously glacier national park is a huge, huge thing here. Dude, my puppy is a little menace. He comes sprinting in through the doggy door. Sometimes just like full on sprint into the kitchen. When you do a training camp, do you do every position? I'll generally try to do a lot of the positions. Yeah, I'm very happy they brought in offensive line. Offensive line being being in the game is is actually super, super clutch. Like being able to do like an offensive line training camp. Got the zoomies. Oh, he, he comes in sprinting with the zoomies literally every single time. It's crazy. As a new Madden, I really haven't gotten the chance to play yet. This is I haven't even played a game. So we're, we're doing our training camp first on this franchise, and then we're going to get into it. What does training camp do? If you get gold, you get the possibility at a development rate upgrade, and you get one guaranteed skill point plus some extra XP. So it's it's actually super clutch. Ooh, I'm faster than you. Oh, man, Harrison Smith's going to be an issue in the back end. Anna loves cheese. Thank you for that follow. Appreciate that, Hannah. But yeah, I mean, I'm really, really enjoying, really, really enjoying what they've shown so far on Madden and what I've seen other people play. I was watching Mills play franchise earlier today, and it looked like a really, really good time, honestly. Does this show me as being live on Twitter, guys? It doesn't, right? Dan Missoula, any suggestions? Why are you coming to Missoula? Uh, man, around Missoula, it's a little bit tough because you're kind of far away from the, um, what's it called? Fi kind of far away from the national parks. But there's a lot of hiking, a lot of a lot of good places to eat in Missoula, actually. A lot of really, really good food. Yep, rocking the yard goats hat. Madden is out. What game mode is this? This is uh, the training camp at the beginning of your franchise mode. 
What are some good rebuild teams? I mean, the the basically all of the teams that drafted quarterbacks are a solid rebuild. Uh, Bo Nix in Denver actually is a really really solid rebuild team. Uh, the Carolina, if you're looking to like the hardest rebuild, it's probably the Carolina Panthers. You like? Does it feel like college football? No, it feels a lot more grounded. It feels more realistic than college football. Some people like that. Your cousin's going there, or your cousin lives there. You're going to visit. Nice. Yeah, Montana's cool. Montana's cool. Is that IU to Steelers could be happening soon? I mean, that's what everyone's been saying forever. Basically, it sounds like IU told the Niners that he is not coming back. It's either you trade him to the Steelers or he's going to sit out, which is crazy. What Madden game is this? 25. Just just came out today. So early release just came out today. I might have waited too long to throw that. Now we're chilling. Jay Jettas. Carolina would be the ultimate real rebuild. I think it's the hardest rebuild. Their their roster is just not very good, dude. Although you do get some first round picks from the Giants, which is kind of nice. But yeah, that that roster for them is god awful. Just absolutely atrocious. Right, Ryan looks better in Madden. I feel like the movement in general feels pretty realistic. Have you guys seen, like, the pre-play movement for players? How, like, no one stands still before the ball snap? It's actually super cool defensively. It makes it look like real games, man. It's actually kind of nuts. Think of up a first? I thought you guys gave up... I thought you guys gave up a first for Burns. Deontay Johnson? I mean, Deontay Johnson is low-key cracked in Madden. Low-key cracked in Madden. What console? I am playing on PS5 currently. All right, we'll go Jordan Addison here for wide receiver battle. I probably should have done Jay Jettis on this one. In case you guys are wondering, there's a way to do these that it's like a guaranteed gold every time. You just go outside and then cut inside and then run towards the back post. Although you need to get outside leverage. You can't do it if you get inside leverage. Easy. Easy peasy. Dude. Holy God. I don't know who this is that's guarding me right now, but he's just getting absolutely toasted. He's not built like that. I am going to be playing this on all, or all Madden too. So, I mean, I'm not like a crazy good Madden player by any means, but I feel like I'm better at Madden than I am at EA College Football. I'm still guessing I'm probably going to throw a lot of picks this year, if we're being honest. Just is what it is. Are you playing NCAA tonight? Nah, tonight's going to be Madden only, especially with the launch today. Um, NCAA will, is still 100% staying in the rotation. Like, I'm not switching over to Madden by any means. Dude, I don't know who this is, but he's slow as molasses. This is nuts. Got legitimately no hands on me. Byron Murphy? Good lord. Jay Jazz is going to be fun? That's facts. Are you going to play a game tonight? Yeah, I'm just doing my training camp real quick. We're going to get through the uh, the preseason, and then we'll jump into the regular season. All right. People have been saying this one's pretty tough. I've, I've been watching people try to do this this uh, pocket protector, and it looks it looks pretty tough. I have to go Christian Derrissaw here, right? Like, there's no one. I guess Ed Ingram. He's only 25 years old, but he's, man, he's just not very good. Like, I would I would like to replace him with a with a drafted guard more so than try to develop him. I think you got to go Derrissaw Darris, here. Washington's a good rebuild, especially with Jaden Daniels, man. <clears throat> Do you play Mutt? No, I'm not a Mutt player. I've never been a Mutt guy. Oh, God. Sprint, 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 sprint. Did I knock him out there? Oh, I'm not going to end up with the bug, right? There's a bug on this on this one that I was watching Mills do yesterday. Oh, I just did continue. I absolutely just choked. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Game is really, really good. Damn, I, I think I knocked my quarterback out of the out of where he had to be there. That's tough. All right, Dallas Turner, get him. Could be tough, Danny Dimes. Yeah, but Danny Dimes' contact uh, contract's over after this year, isn't it? Isn't this the last year of his contract? Please get off a block, Dallas Turner. Turner, thank you.
I hate, dude, the long disengage is the hardest one of these. It's tough to get off sometimes. Pause. Oh no, please. That's what she said, bro. <laughs> this game's been enjoyable so far. I haven't gotten to play very much of it. Madner CFB, I have not played nearly enough of this game yet to say Madner CFB. It's, I, I will say the one thing that I've seen so far, it's just different. Like, I don't know if you can compare Madden to CFB. They're just different games. Like Madden feels a lot more realistic and grounded, whereas CFB feels a lot more arcadey. So like, which is more realistic to college ball, for, whereas like the NFL is really, really grounded and like gritty. But four year, 160 million is wild. Although that's not really that bad of a contract when you look at other quarterback contracts at this point. Jason Tackle, dude, I'm terrible at this one. Oh my God, I'm terrible at this one. This this one will take me a, a handful. You basically have to get the cut stick, dude. You have to get the cut stick every single time here. And if you don't, you're you're just absolutely toast. What about franchise? I haven't played enough of franchise to know one way or another yet. All right, gotta restart. Love it. These training camp ones are so important, but this is this is actually uh, one of the ones that is way harder. You just gotta hit the cut stick, man. Gotta hit the cut stick. I feel like. I don't know, man. I feel like a lot of people, if you look at the reactions, have started to sour on EA CFB. I'm still enjoying the absolute shit out of that game, if I'm being honest. Like, that's that's the... Oh, my God. He would go inside there. That's brutal. Damn. But, like, I, I really, really am enjoying EA CFB. Like, some of the moments I've had in that Dynasty mode that we're doing on stream have been some of my favorite stream moments ever. And I've had some fun, some fun moments in Madden franchise over the year, but I, I don't feel like any of them have ever been close to CFB. Have you ever played Fortnite? I used to play a lot of Fortnite. Like during chapter one, like the OG Fortnite, I, dude, I played so much of it. I would get on like every night and play with my friends for hours. Appreciate that, Robert. About to go rebuild University of Hawaii. I wish they had their real... Well, actually, let me tell you. Hawaii's bugged. So I would not do an, uh, a University of Hawaii, Miami rebuild right now. Unfortunately, every... Uh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, every prospect in the game will be F proximity to home, even if they're from Hawaii, which makes it really, really hard. And the fact that they don't have their real stadium in the game is kind of a disappointing too. Are you still going to play CFB? For sure. For sure, for sure. Honestly, the game that this this game is probably going to take away from is uh, uh, MLB The Show. Because, like, I don't know how I'm going to have time to play a franchise on this and play a dynasty on CFB and also play MLB The Show. Like, MLB The Show is the most likely one to get cut for me playing. I got gold. We're chilling. We're chilling. Don't give up a touchdown. No! Oh, I didn't actually get that much. That's fine. That's fine. We're chilling. So they lowered the requirements on this one. It used to be 50k to get, get gold on this. Now it's only 30k. That's actually way easier. This one was really a pain before. What's JJ overall? Uh, 71. 71 at 21 years old. Wish they had the green jerseys too. Facts. I'm waiting to start a Steelers franchise in, in, in case we get IU. Uh, dude. I'm My Steelers franchise is probably going to be solely off stream this year. But Justin Fields and Ayuk on a Steelers franchise with George Piggins would legitimately be so much fun. So much fun. This game traps CFB better? I mean, why can't you just enjoy both games? I don't understand why we constantly have the need to be like, oh, this game's trash and another game's better. Like, why can't you just play both? I don't understand. Just enjoy all of the video games we get the opportunity to play. All right, DB Battle's going to be kind of a pain here. Uh... Iron Murphy 26 and Cameron Bynum at 26 both could probably use this if we're being honest. Louis Cine is still still star development. Interesting. All right, I think I have to go Byron Murphy here. I need I need a plus one on him. Something fierce is Madden 25 good? I'm still playing it. Still playing it. 
think this is your favorite modern era Madden. It's too early, man. It's too early. Wait, they have no. I signed. I signed him in. Uh, whoa, hello. I signed him like because I saw he was visiting, so I thought it was kind of realistic for me to give him on the team. You think Gilmore will sign with the Vikes? I mean, he visited with them today. There's a decent chance he does. Bro, this is it's gonna be way harder now that they took the route off the screen. I don't know if you guys ever did this this one last year, but uh you could always see the route, so you you would never have to like stress about what they were actually gonna run. That's on man so far. It's still early. I need to play play a couple of games. We're gonna be oh wow, I just got absolutely shook. Brutal. What's your thoughts on Bo Nixon's first or Bo Nick's first game? He looked really, really good. He looked really, really poised. I guess he's a little bit of an older quarterback at this point, but overall, he, he looked pretty solid. You can lock on. Dude. When did they add that? This drill in CFB is impossible. This drill is hard in general, bro. I didn't know you could lock on. Goodbye, NCAA. Hello, Madden. Nah, we're still going to be playing a lot of NCAA, bro. I'm really, really enjoying that game, if I'm being honest. Might just have to take a silver on this one. Nah, we'll get it. We'll get it. It just takes a couple of times. I'm just getting toasted. Just getting absolutely toasted. MLB fell off quick this year. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. MLB definitely struggled this year. That's that's facts. But did you play high school football or college? I did play high school football, yeah. Oh, shit. Hit me on the drag. Brutal. You can play inside, but if you play inside, you're going to get absolutely ruined by the uh, corner route, dude. The corner route absolutely kills you if you play inside. Enjoy CFB in only so many hours. I respect that. I respect that. Part of the reason I have this game, outside of me being an EA creator, I would have gotten a copy anyways. But uh, I picked up the $150 edition, so it was like I got such a big discount on this game that I'm excited to kind of give it a try. Oh my god, how is that not tough? not pay to play i agree i still love mlb the show don't get me wrong i think people have been really really hard on it this year when i don't necessarily think it's been as bad a year as what other people are saying go for papa thank you for that follow welcome in welcome in throw it throw it probably have bought it by the weekend i mean if you watch streams you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get suckered into buying it regardless of whether or not you want to man Watching streams, streams is the fastest way to buy a video game without a doubt. There's been so many times where I've been on the fence for buying a video game and then I've watched someone streaming it and been like, oh, I have to get that. And then I'll never end up playing it. Oh my God, he hit me with the curl. This is legitimately ruining me. This is crazy. You play 2K? Yeah, and I think I'm going to play a lot of 2K this year, especially with the uh, removing badge degradation, which was one of my least favorite parts of last year. And the ability to get season XP in offline modes. So if I'm playing like, if I'm playing like my career, and but actually playing my career, like grinding out seasons to work on my badges and that kind of stuff, I'm going to be getting season XP. And that's so clutch, dude. So clutch. Reset every season. Yeah, the reset definitely didn't help MLB by any means. I just got Moss! No! How? Cards are cracked. Yeah, this has been a fun season. I unlocked all the bosses and all the collection rewards. So, like, I've definitely been grinding MLB without a doubt. You want to play Dynasty? Yeah, I'm going to play Franchise Mode. Are you Are you talking about uh, EA College Football? Uh, because, no, I'm not going to be playing EA College Football tonight. But we will be playing a franchise on this. That's what we're doing currently. We're just doing the training camp in the preseason. don't see you live on twitter it's weird because it's showing me as being live through twitter's like direct app which is unfortunate all right i mean i have silver here i might just have to eat that oh i just got toasted just got toasted i wonder why god twitter's twitter's live is super super buggy super super buggy i might have to try to get this figured out again good shit Got gold, chat. Lock in. Lock in. I'm also curious to see the... Uh, it looked like when I was watching Bengals' video, it looked like the kicking meter on this game is way easier than it was on uh, on NCAA. Even though, like, 
it, it shouldn't be right but it kind of looks like it is all right give me a sec let me end the stream real quick on twitter and see if i can restart this i just don't understand what's going on with it It would be to yoink Max Crosby from the Raiders a lot. Holy shit. I can't even imagine. That would be easy to first round picks, and I would not be surprised if they required a third. All right. Broadcast created. Yeah, no, it would be crazy. Do the Seahawks have the best throwback jerseys in the league? If they don't, it's easy top three, in my opinion. I would say that the, the Seahawks throwbacks are there. The Buccaneers throwbacks are there. I would say, man, where where else would I say? Seahawks... The Eagles throwbacks are, are definitely up there. What team should I be from Iowa? Broncos have the best throwbacks. The Broncos throwbacks are pretty elite, which is better so far. NCAA 25. I legitimately haven't played enough of this game to know if I'm being honest. The Broncos ones are tough this year. The Broncos ones have been good for a long time. All right, we're going to skip the rest of these. I'm not worried about my, my kicker. Oilers are always great. That's facts. Patriots red throwbacks are fire. They're also very, very good. You're not wrong. Let's get a weekly game plan in here. I guess I actually should probably go re or set my my uh, depth chart before I do this. I went over the roster with you guys, but we definitely need to we need to set the uh, the depth chart. Madden did come out, yeah. Madden did come out. Honestly, it might be smart for me to sit JJ McCarthy for the preseason because if I put him second, he'll get more reps in the preseason than my starter. Cream sickle bucks are elite. Yeah, those those are absolutely elite. 100%. All right, Aaron Joe's the one that makes sense. DJ Ham, J Jeff, Jordan Addison, Brandon Powell, Trent Sherfield, man. I think I think Jordan Ad Addison's going to have to go into the slot. Patriots yeah, the Patriots red throwbacks are good. There's a lot of really really good throwbacks in in the NFL, man, if we're being honest. All right, I think we're looking pretty good overall. I need I need to make sure like my rush ends and everything are are set correctly, but right now we look pretty solid. All right, so Stefan Gilmore is the new starter here. Byron Murphy is second, and then we'll go Makai Blackman, and then I, dude, I kind of want Andrew Booth. I know he's just has not developed, but I almost want to put him fourth so maybe he can get on the field and like maybe develop. Aaron Jones, third down. Aaron Jones is power. Love to see that. My slot ride receiver probably should be Jordan Addison. Like, I could play him on the outside, but I feel like he'd be pretty lethal in the, in the slot. No, I know that Andrew Booth got traded in real life. I, I got that, guys. You, Gilmore? Dude, I think Gilmore is a good pickup for them if they end up making that happen. Why is Andrew Van Ginkle my, my rush left end? That's... This is where I, I'm just like, why why does it do this? So why is my rush left end, or why is my right outside linebacker my rush left end and my rush right end is my left outside linebacker? It constantly does that, and I just don't understand why. Although, Greener is going to be my backup both spots. Anyways, D-tackles, Gary Tillery and Harrison Phillips. Not going to be very good in pass rush situations, unfortunately. Cashman and Pace are easy there. Slot corners. I don't mind Makai Blackman in the slot, if I'm being honest. All right, now we're set. Let's get it going, chat. Buki just homered first game back. That's huge. Madden did drop. Madden did drop. What, J.J. McCarthy? He's a 71. The Cowboys last year. I think Kilmore would be a good pickup for the Vikings. It makes a lot of sense for them. McDonald, thank you for that follow. All right, now I am actually live on Twitter. You love to see it for the first time ever. For the first time, real time ever. Let's get our weekly strategy set. What's Marvin Harrison Jr.? I guess I could go look at the rookies real quick before we, we start going. 
So let's go look at Marv first because that's what someone wanted. He is a 79 overall, which honestly feels a little bit low. I would have thought he was like an 80 or an 81. When does it actually come out? In three days. Thursday, Thursday night is when it, it fully comes out. What's Penix at? Penix looked really, really good in the preseason. 71 overall feels kind of low for him. Although I didn't like him as a top 10 pick, but it feels a little bit low. McCarthy's a 71. Keon Coleman, he went to the Bills, right? Seventy three, seventy three, actually pretty solid. Drake May, May's probably up there. I'd have to guess he's probably like a seventy five or seventy six. Can't get sucked into this. He's a seventy six. I think Caleb was a seventy eight, if I remember right. Some stud, stud young wide receiver on cut week. That's a good call, Hunter. Actually, can you see the Steelers roster? I can, although there's not really anyone to look at. It's kind of the same old, same old. Seventy six. Wow, Caleb's only a seventy six. Is this EA Creator Club? No, it's early release, man. It's out. Dallas Turner, he's a 78. The Colts, Latu. He's the kid from UCLA, right? I believe they are a 3-4. I apparently am very wrong. They are back to a 4-3. Uh, 77. 23, 77. Damn, he's good, actually. That's crazy. All right, let's go. Let's go start playing chat. We've we've dilly dallied enough. It's time for us to start going and playing some games. Who is Greenard's getting trade offers? I don't actually like that. I want him to be my backup. So let's do our weekly strategy. I mean, the weekly strategy doesn't really ha matter all that much, but I'm going to go half pads. Um, I do not want to end up with practice injuries. It literally is the worst case scenario when you do. I'm going to split between my life end and right end starters. Fine there. Starters, starters, starters. We'll go split for my corners and then free safety start or split for freeze and then backups actually for strong safety. Harrison Smith is a 70 or a 35 years old, 36 years old. He's, he's still very, very good, but realistically, like he's not going to be around for very long. So I need to, I need to start developing those backups. We'll go half pads here. Uh, quarterback, obviously we're going to go starter even, or no, we'll split early in the season, I guess, because JJ is technically not my starter right now for the preseason, even though he very likely will be my starter for the, the regular season. He was like an 82, Crosby, if I remember right. Apex will go starters. We're going to go starters at wide receiver, starters at tight end, starters across the offensive line. All right, love to see it. Where do you think the Niners receiver will go? Ayuk, I hope he goes to the Steelers. You play in the preseason? No, I'm going to simulate out the preseason. We'll go Dallas Turner, JJ McCarthy, and then who do I want to be? My third focus player. I think it's probably got to be that middle linebacker, right? Although, Lewis... How do you pronounce his name? That kid from the safety. I, I, I always want to say Cine. Is it Lewis Sign? I don't actually know, but I need him to develop. So we're going to go ahead and lock him in. And is live right now for early release. Sign? Okay, cool. Gonna make Chicago great again. Chicago is like everybody's rebuild, man. It makes so much sense. You have like unbelievably good players across the board. Cena, that's what I thought. You guys, now I'm getting opposite. I'm getting opposite ways to say it. That's unfortunate. All right, so we got superstar X Factor, obviously for J Jet. We're gonna go deep threat. Get him to a 99 overall. Welcome to the 99 club, J Jettus. You love to see it. You love to see it. Holy shit. I like, I, I, I love to see that Madden did not do a very good job of making the menus quicker in this game. Scene. Dude, you guys are, you guys are killing me. You literally just gave me three different ways. Lewis scene. Okay. So that's two people saying scene. You guys have given me three different ways in my TikTok chat to say it. That's brutal. All right. Now we've had, we've had plenty of people saying scene. So I'm, I'm just going to lock that in. All right. Does franchise feel new compared to last year? I mean, some of the changes they made to franchise definitely make it feel um, it feel new. It feels updated. The storylines that they added to Madden are going to be super, super clutch. I think it's going to be really, really cool, personally. Byron Murphy. Man, I really need his his man-to-man -man to go up. Should have been a 99 anyways. That's facts. I, I think that the draft alone is going to make franchise feel better than last year. 
Dallas Turner. Hidden dev for Dallas Turner, which is going to be super clutch. I can't believe he's wearing number 15. That feels super odd. By the way, chat, if we're at home week one, whatever our first home game is, we're busting out those all white uniforms. Those, those uniforms are sick. Oh my God, they're sick. I'm on Twitch, Vega. Yeah, the Winter Warrior jerseys are sick, bro. I'm busting those out week, whatever my home opener is, for sure. For sure. We're going to go Field General for Ivan Pace. Draft Trades, it would be so elite. Facts, yeah, Draft Trades would be really, really cool. Week one, you play the Giants in New York, I think. Tough. All right, well, we'll bust them out week two then. JJ McCarthy, he's a 71 overall scrambler. That is a brutal archetype. Give me Field General. Up to a 72 overall. We get a plus one play action, plus one throw accuracy mid, plus one throw accuracy short, plus one throw on the run. That's actually a pretty solid upgrade, if we're being honest. Ready to hurt again? I, I hope you guys can develop. I hope you guys can de develop some guys here, man. Run support on Lewis Seen. Mookie Betts homer already? That's what I said. What's up, all? Oh, you're Vega. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Let's go ahead and advance the week. San Fran week two in Minnesota, bro. I'm busting out those white jerseys for a fat L against the uh, against the Niners. That's pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Jordan Addison with another upgrade already. Damn, you'll love to see that. Keep hitting him with those deep threats. Keep hitting him with those deep threats, chat. I'm doing good, Quakers. How you doing? JJ McCarthy up to a 70, hopefully a 73 if we hit him with another. Let's go. 73 overall, and it's week two of the preseason. And already plus two. Plus two awareness, plus one throw accuracy deep, plus two throw under pressure. Love to see it. Hope the Brewers lose. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? The, the Pirate season's over. If you only have $60, which football game are you buying? Uh, EA CFB. Just because it's the new game, man. If 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 not for anything else, just because EA CFB hasn't come out in so long. Just got tickets to the home opener for the Grizz? Hell yeah, I have season tickets. Maybe I'll see you there. Seahawks fan, thank you for that follow. All right, position battles. Let's see, I'm sure they're going to talk about my quarterback position battle if I had to take a guess. Force feed players last year, it still took forever. Oof. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's one of the things they really focused on in this game is if your rookies perform well, you can go up crazy, crazy fast. Seahawks, I'm a big Steeler fan, but God, you guys are throwbacks and I live in Montana, so regional, but a Kenneth Walker throwback. All right. Uh, I don't even know where the battle are we going to go most INTs. Let's go most pass deflections. I have no idea what they just asked me about. If I'm being honest, I need to lock in. I need to lock in. Baby to Grizzlies game. We will take the baby to the Grizzlies game. A chance that if I run into you, I could get a picture? For sure, Quakers. Of course. I'm always cool to take pictures with people. Who do you pick out of the fancy packs? Dude, I do not play. I don't play Mutt. I'm sorry. I, I cannot help you with that, my guy. All right. Three plus turnovers is defense. Don't love that. Two plus passing touchdowns. We will do that. Mine's due in four weeks. Good luck, man. The first month is a blur. It's brutal. It's absolutely brutal. I cannot, yeah, I can't express to you how brutal that first that first month is, man. By the way, if you guys are chilling and watching me over on Twitter or Twitter uh, or X or whatever you're calling it nowadays, appreciate you guys. First time streaming over there. Creator that doesn't play mutt. I'm a big Diamond Dynasty fan, like in MLB The Show. That's the only card collecting mode I play, though. I play my career over on NBA 2K. I play Dynasty on EA CFB, and I play franchise on that, and that's all I touch. That's all I touch. Jasper, happy early birthday, man. What's up, No Way? Yeah, first time live or on, on Twitter, is uh, it's a weird feeling, man. It's a weird feeling to be live on three different platforms all simultaneously. I'm kind of surprised my, my internet isn't exploding trying to do this do i not all right k9 jersey adam exactly you bobcats fan so i hear about the grizz and the rivalry i respect that dnails i respect that enjoyed using jane daniels he's fun man you have vikings franchise too that's your favorite team the vikings are a really really fun squad in this game i should probably do the weekly strategy before i upgrade people 
That's fine. Preseason strategy does not matter. Rush for 200 yards. We're chilling. Two plus passing touchdowns. I am kind of curious. I'm going to play with the Vikings playbook to start just to see if I don't like it. Agreed, Cameron. I agree. That, you're not wrong, Brang. Honest, honest to God, I don't know how I would keep up with Madden Ultimate Team. Like, it's hard enough to keep up with uh, MLB The Show's content, and it only comes out once a week more often than not. JJ can be a top 15. We're set. That's true. How's the game? It's been pretty fun so far. I haven't really played a whole lot of games yet, though. I'm working through the preseason of this, this stream, Dynasty. Um, like I've told you guys a handful, if you're just coming in, this is not my long-term franchise. This is going to be my franchise up until the point uh, I can get my Montana team builder team made. So it, once I get my Montana team builder team made, we're going to do like full games and that kind of stuff. We're going to only play the moments on this franchise to try to get through seasons quick up until that, uh, that franchise time to go Friday. Yeah. I, I would actually guess it probably comes out on Thursday. That's when it came out for, uh, EA college football. So all right, chat, one more week advance, and then it's time to do some cuts, and then it's the regular season, my guy. JJ McCarthy to Jay Jettas and Jordan Addison. This is a nasty team. How does team builder work? Is it just an expansion? No, Cameron, you replace a team that's in the league. But is a grind for sure? Oh, I'm sure. Vikings have a double pass trick play. Is it busted? Picked owner over coach. Was that a bad decision? No, not at all. All right, chat, so we're going to go ahead and cut some people real quick. That's going to be the, the primary thing we have to do. And then we have some storylines, some of the new storylines to break out. Jaron Hall. Do I want Nick Mullins or Jaron Hall? One's 26, one's 29. I'm going to go to the practice squad for Jaron Hall. That's fine. John Trouble, you might have to go to jail. No, Tamark, that's crazy. Do you play mud on NCAA? No, I don't play any ultimate team modes. I play Diamond Dynasty on MLB The Show, but that's it. Dwayne McBride... Or Keen in Guanu. Is this the kid from Pitt? No, he's the one from Iowa State. Am I thinking? No, I'm thinking of the one for the Jets. The kid that was on Hard Knocks last year that I really enjoyed. Jaron Duran's situation. You cannot call people slurs and expect not to get in trouble. 94 speed. I like the 94 speed. So Dwayne McBride's going to go to the the uh, the practice squad, although I don't think he's going to stick there. This is where we're going to have to get rid of some people. So I'm okay keeping six wide receivers if we can, but we have like 45 tight ends. We legitimately have... In kill... He got turned into a tight end? Really? I mean, that makes sense for him. 6'3", 225. My guy is big. How's the game compared to NCAA? I haven't played enough of it to know yet, if I'm being honest. We aren't trade Muth? No, I don't think we're going to trade Muth. Although, I am worried about his long-term health, if I'm being honest. All the professional would have been firing. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Any, any other sport, he would have gotten way, way more in trouble than he, he did in baseball. Two games is nothing, dude. That's literally, what, 170th or 180th of the, the baseball season? absolutely nothing but yeah you can't get caught in a hot mic screaming rate or uh homophobic slurs at people in the stands can't be doing that shit man do you think if i buy the pre-order now i can play today you can does man 25 seem good so far i don't know yet he makes a team for long snapping i know but long snappers aren't a thing in madden i kind of wish long snappers were a thing in madden I only have three D tackles on the, the roster. That feels like a mistake, Chet. That feels like a mistake. Andre Carter. So we'll go Jihad Ward. Keep Andre Carter. Dallas Gaunt is such a downgrade from Kamu. I guess I could go practice squad for Gaunt. 62 overall. He should be able to stick around the practice squad. I probably don't need three left outside linebackers and right outside linebackers. Andre Carter probably can stick on the practice squad too. Is the early release out yet? Yep, came out today. That's why I'm I'm playing right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. AJ Green over Andrew Bruth. I'm cool with that. Dwight McGlothern. People get too offended these days, TBH, but you still you, you can't fucking call people slurs. 
on on a hot mic and expect there not to be ramifications for doing that man that'd be like me going out there right now on stream and just screaming the n-word at someone like that shit's nuts you can't do that why you pick the vikings they're a fun team to rebuild they have a fun roster a fun young roster which one do i get it would be the the hundred dollar edition of the game if you want to play right now. You need you need the hundred dollar edition to be able to play currently. Um, which Parker do, or John Parker Romo is twenty seven. We'll take we'll take the younger kicker. I'm kind of curious to see how the first kick goes for me on this game. If we're being honest, I still have to cut four people. God damn. I mean, it has to be a tight end, right? I need to keep four or four running backs. That's fine. I guess five receivers. Tristan Jackson's going to have to go. Harry's probably the call, though, but he's 26, and Tanyan's fucking old at this point. I know Tanyan's a decent tight end, but with Josh Oliver and TJ Hawkinson in front of him, I think you got to take the cap space. Even though Harry's a little bit more expensive, I think he has the opportunity to develop a little bit. Trey Palmer, fast route runner and tall. Actually, that's not a bad take. That's not a bad take. Do you think CD Lamb will sign? Yeah, for sure. Especially if they're going to offer him $33 million a year. CD's staying. You're going to be running the ball a lot with JJ McCarthy. He's not that fast, dude. I was legitimately just thinking about that. I'm kind of worried about it. 3D tackles, 23, 24. I still have to cut two people. This is actually tough, chat. It's actually tough. Gabriel Murphy, I want to keep him. 23 years old, like, I, I, I'm i terrified that if I cut him, he's not going to be able to stick on the practice squad. Two safeties. We'll drop down to two. I know he's going to get pulled off the practice squad. And we have one more cut to make. This is where it gets tough. Where it gets tough. I mean, four, four, or four running backs is questionable. I got to keep five receivers. Can't go down to four there. It's got to be a D tackle, I guess. Skull. Initial thoughts on gameplay? I haven't played enough of it yet. Well, you'll get my initial thoughts literally as I'm playing. I'm about to play my first game of this dynasty or this franchise, and we'll see. And 23 and 24, though. Would I rather cut the outside linebacker, who's a 67 and 23? Or the D tackle. Cut the 24 year old man. They're both normal dev. Only need three running backs. Yeah, but one's my punt returner and kick returner. So what's Aaron Jones is overall? He's an 88. He's actually kind of decent to run with. That's what I love to see. All right, chat. Storyline. Position battle. Holy shit, they want me to start seeing. Bro, he's like 11. Oh, I'm backing out of my word. Bynum's like 11 overall better than Scene is. Are you kidding me? Yeah, sorry, man. We're going to lose some trust with the squad. That's that's not a position battle. I should have been paying attention. Like, Scene's hopefully the person who develops there, but he, that can't. that's not a position battle. Uh, the Cardinals, Liam. The Cardinals. How are you feeling fancy this year? Any bold takes? Uh, I think one of the quarterbacks will be a top 10 fancy quarterback. I don't know which one, but one of them will be. What can the fans expect from your defense this season? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Let's let's create turnovers. That's the only way we're going to be successful. I don't feel good about sacks. Although, man, if we want to develop Dallas Turner, we could use some sacks. One of the rookies or which ones? One of the rookies, I would say if based on what I've seen right now, I would say that I think that. Oh, God. Gun to my head, Caleb Williams and Bo Nix. Are draft classes available to download yet? You can download them, but I'm sure no one's made them yet. The game's only been out for like four hours, man.
Not plus Bo Nix. I think Bo Nix is going to be pretty solid. Madden came out. It did. Doing your franchise with the Giants. That's a fun team, dude. That's a fun team. They're set up to for success. They have a lot of talent. Damn, we have such a bad morale drop right now because of me breaking my promise on the uh, position battle. What sh where should I spend my points for talent tree? I generally spend my points the quickest one to get to where I can uh, have extra development players. That's generally what I care about. So there should be free agent wide receivers, right? Or is, is it next week that I'll be able to see them? Twenty four, Justin Ross, dude. God, he's so slow. Four, five, eight, nine. I mean, you'll take that. Honestly, I I ended up with like the I, we have a ten man league, and I ended up with the ninth overall pick last year, and that was brutal. Is seen requesting a trade before because you lied. I did not see him request a trade. What's up, tree? So is it is it going into week one? Chat, can you can someone verify for this for me real quick? Is it going into week one that you get get to see the cuts from the other team, or do you go into the final week of the preseason with cuts already made? I can't ever remember. We have uh, Christopher. We have three quarterbacks currently. The gap week is when. Okay, so this should be the week. There's just not really anyone that's crazy. Ronnie Bell, 88. I guess I could just sort by speed. That's probably the way the way I go about doing this. Anthony Schwartz, 96 speed. Tyquan Thornton. Turpin, Marquise Goodwin. Damn, Marquise Goodwin is still very fast for being as old as he is. 33 and still with 94 speed is kind of nuts. We could bring in Anthony Schwartz. 95 acceleration, 96 speed would be kind of nuts. Especially six foot 186. You could throw him on the outside. I just don't know if he's talented enough to play out there. We might have to think about taking like a, a wide receiver in like the second or third round this year. Or going after a third one in the uh in the draft. How's the game? I've I've just started playing it, man. It's kind of hard to give my impressions yet, if we're being honest. All right. Uh we'll go ahead and advance the week, and it's time for week one, chat. First time actually jumping into the game and playing. Jefferson at pick eight, pick eight. You think Jay Jett is with a rookie quarterback? I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. Meeting your season goal comes with higher rewards. I'm going to guess, man, seven wins is scary in this division. We're going to do it and a rookie quarterback. We're going to choose our draft class. We're going to go auto-generated. It is time to hire our scouts. I'll probably wait until after the game to, to do our scouting, though, because I want to be able to get into a game for you guys. Darnold, Darnold is the starter IRL. I know. I need to go make uh, Darnold the backup now. I kept J, JJ in the second slot to try to get some more development. But what area of the team is the strongest? I mean, it's probably the offense. The defense is not good, man. The defense is not good. What's the weak point of your defense? It's the secondary. The secondary is god awful. Pass defense and our secondary. What difficulty are we playing on? We're playing on all Madden. Playing on all Madden. Can you be more specific? Yeah, bro. Our corners are hot ass. Although we did pick up Stefan Gilmore, who makes them a little bit better, but our corners are bad. Then put someone else in the slot, maybe free agent or trade. I like Addison. I like Addison in the slot, man. He's I throw to the especially on Madden. I throw at the slot a lot. So giving giving him the ability to get more touches is going to be solid. Contain quarterback scramble. I mean, you gotta you gotta think that they're gonna run the ball a lot here. We're gonna defend inside run against the Giants and see how that goes. And then, I, I mean, Blitz blitz Counter has felt like it's pretty much worthless up to this point. We're going to look to throw it short with JJ in his first game. Try to be smart with the ball. We're going to switch over here. Instead of doing quarterback splits, we're going to go to starters. Now that JJ is going to end up being the starter. Lewis, seeing JJ McCarthy, Dallas Turner, still the people we're going to go and allow two or less passing touchdowns. No, we're looking to get two passing touchdowns. Thank you very much. I like Coach Jake. Personally, I think that there's more storylines for coaches than there are for, for owners. Yep, yard goats hat. Hmm. 
My puppy is being a little menace, dude. He's just sprinting around in the back. You guys can't see him, but. Brandon Powell up to a 73. I guess it, theoretically, if Brandon Powell develops, it wouldn't be the end of the world. You think JJ will be good? I think he has a decent chance. The fact that he was in such a, a pro-style offense in college makes him have like a, a legitimately good shot at being a good quarterback. How's Thor been? Thor's chilling. Thor's chilling. We're just enjoying the time we get with him, honestly, at this point. That's all we can do. All right, chat. JJ McCarthy, week one starter. We're going into New York. Let's see how it goes. Like I told you guys, we're going to be playing the moments in this franchise. Um, we're going to do a full franchise after we can make our team builder teams. But right now, like, player of the moments feels feels the way to go here. He played well Saturday. He did look pretty good Saturday. Looked very composed. It's week one of the National Football League, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. None of the new, uh, the none of the new commentary teams. The new, the new, like, game presentation looks really, really solid on this game. Really, really solid. I like the, the introductions with the actual players. Like, being able to see the outside of stadiums. Uh, I doubt it, God. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gardner. Our guy Bubba Dugnut controlling the sidelines. Commentary is random every red game. Interesting. All right, Brandon Gardner, Gotten, and Charles Davis on the call. Brian Dable. His face scan is actually really, really well done. Danny Jones, pretty decent too. All right, Giants start with the ball here, playing the moments. Big third down, defense got to make a stop right off the get-go. Not really where I want to be. This defense, not great. We're going to go ahead and go cover six here, just try to play a soft zone. I love the pre-snap movement on this game. God, it's so good, dude. It's so good. Unfortunately, converts over the middle. I did a good job of my guy. Singletary is Terry's able to get open there. And we're going to come right back. This game feels so much weightier than EA College Football. Like, after playing EA College Football, you have to be so much more meticulous with your movement. Like, you can't just go out there and sling yourself around, man. Why not play the whole game? Uh, because I want to be able to get through seasons. Because this isn't our long-term franchise. Like, I want to get through as many seasons as I can before we get our team builder team in the game and start our real franchise. Defense feels so much easier in this game. Like, I, it just feels so much easier. I've been wanting for so long. It makes everything feel so realistic. You have covered shells in this game now? I should have came out in a cover two covered shell. Good dump off, and we hold him in three. Love to see it. How'd you decide the team to go with? I wanted a team who had just drafted a quarterback, a team who has some pretty solid jerseys, and a team who has a lot of holes on the roster. That was pretty much my determining factor. Has anyone figured out if they have the roughing the kicker glitch on this game? They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. So the flag is for roughing the kicker a big 15-yard penalty. And I'm not sure that was the time to go all out after the kicker. Plenty of time left in this game. So now then the penalty's got him set up. I cannot believe that this is going to be an issue in this game, too. You shouldn't have the bro. I just, I'm telling you guys, got to turn off roughing the kickers. And then I give up a touchdown. This game, this is fucking... <laughs> there is no way. There is just no way. Just like NCAA. Yeah, this is an NCAA reskin. Haven't you heard? All right, let's see if we can get a wide receiver under here. I'm not a big... I'm going to keep it a buck with you. One thing that I'm not a huge fan of on this game so far is the new camera angle. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Throwing the football does not work the same as EA College football. All right, that's tough. Need to make a third down stop here. Wow, okay. Learned something very quickly there. Playing this game after playing EA College football for so long is actually going to take some adjustment. This game does not feel the same. It does not feel the same. You can't get away with the same shit that you get away with on EA College football. 
thing copy and paste their sides with the update not nah, apparently not although we're looking like we're gonna go down 14 nothing here to start against the the giants which is not ideal this giants team is not that good if, if, if this is an indicator on how the rest of the season is gonna go it's gonna be a long year man it is way easier to tackle in this game than it is on the college football too you flow to the ball way way better two minutes on the clock second quarter rangers should have sold at the deadline you think Second That's funny. Eight. Dude, the pre-snap movement looks so good. I can't get over how awesome that looks, man. It really is is a game changer. Good tackle. Also, Skull Vikes, respect it. Uh, it's feeling pretty good so far. Feeling pretty good so far. It feels a lot more weighted than... Uh, it feels a lot more weighted than EA College Football does. Like, it feels more weighty. It feels like your, uh, your players are just, like, bigger. Mm, no. Nope. 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 That's not a catch. That's not a catch. There's no way that's a fucking catch. I know it's it's automatically looked at. There's no shot in hell that that was a catch. I mean, there's green. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Being what to play, Trevor. I mean, you can play both of them, man. You can play both of them. All right, we're down 14 nothing, man. We need to get some points here. Let's go. Let's go with JJ and see what we can do here. Yeah, this this new camera angle is going to take me a minute to get used to. It's way way different. I don't play What passing dude I did I play on last year? Yeah, I just did placement, not placement and accuracy. Huh. Not an accurate throw out J.J. McCarthy. Hate to see it. Let's see if we can get Aaron Jones out on a on a screen here for some for some yards. Nice to see that your running backs don't get caught up on screens nearly as bad as they do in EA college football, but also that didn't block up worth shit. So it's also nice to be able to like have a second to throw the football, which is not something I get to experience on. That's a brain dead decision. Worked out. Love to see it. Get to the ball. Damn, the the runoff is brutal. I should have taken a taken a time out there. Completely forgot. I'm used to being able to get up to the line without any time coming off the clock. The ball. That's caught downfield by Addison. You really have to adjust yourself to doing different things on this game than you do on EA God football, man. It definitely is, does not feel the same. It really doesn't. Let's see if we can get JJ us down the, sl the slot here if it comes open. I'm going to take off. Is this game worth buying? It's still early. The K-Walk jersey keys. It's so good, dude. Jersey's so good. So that means they're down to one remaining here. Uh, 18 seconds. We have a couple of time to take some shots. I don't love the fact that they mm, are in a cover three here. It means that we're kind of toast on the corner. Throwing is McCarthy. Taking off again. Didn't get the blocks, and I fumbled. Oh god, I have to remember that I can't run the ball with quarterbacks in this game either. It's guaranteed, guaranteed way to fumble, unfortunately. How's the ultimate team? I don't play ultimate team, man. So I'm not really the person to ask for that, unfortunately. Alright, I need to take a shot at the end zone here. We got Pal on the out route. I don't mind that. Can I do the out on the outside, too? With a custom stem? Like a, a goal line out there. Although it kind of looks like they're in a cover, too. So I don't know how open this is going to come. To the air with McCarthy. Oh, a circle so open. Try to get the corner. Let's go, JJ! JJ with his first NFL touchdown on a rushing play there. Circle was so open, dude. I was reading the left side of the field, and by the time I started rolling out, it was too late. If I threw that ball, it gets picked. This is 25, yeah. Isaac, thank you for that follow. JJ with the big play there. And he's going to come down and with another opportunity here. We're going to go play action cross. It's third inches. Run the football. What are you doing? Run the football? 
I got to trust that the offensive line can get me one yard here. The answer is no. No, they cannot. Please let me go for it. Thank you. Uh, man, inside zone. Or do I just go quarterback sneak? We're literally, like, this is inches, dude. This is inches. Give me a quarter, give me a quarterback sneak here to get one, one inch. The answer is no. Yeah, the answer is no. <laughs> Easy. All right, we convert. <laughs> Keep it going. Add baby JJ. We're back in this game, baby. First and 10 from the 15. We're going to see if we can get the running game established a little bit. It's kind of hard to play these moments, if I'm being honest, because you never really feel like you get, like, a rhythm in the game. Although, Aaron Jones in the open field, and that's going to be a touchdown. Love it. And just like that, it's a tie ball game, chat. Tie ball game. You love to see it. Aaron Jones celebrating with his teammates. First Vikings touchdown after so many years with the Green Bay Packers. And just like that, we get the ball back with an opportunity to get another red zone touchdown here. We're going to go ahead and send Jordan Addison on a slant, see if we can get him over, open over the middle. ID your mic. Never never forget to ID your mic if you're playing this game. Aaron Jones open. Love it again. Going to be a really, really good receiving back. He, he was used a lot in that role in Green Bay. Going to try to rely on him here doing that as well. Nope, that's not the mic. Please try again. Let me ID the mic. Wish we didn't do Jones dirty. I agree. He should have been a Packer for life, man. Early MLB free agency prediction. Honest to God, I have no idea who even a free agent is this this offseason in the MLB. I mean, we're going to have to see if they suck in here. If they don't suck in, we're going to have to look to run. Get it to Hawkinson. And J.J. McCarthy with his second touchdown in his early career. One passing, one rushing now for the Rook. Hits TJ Hawkinson on the crossing route. And Hawkinson's able to find the end zone. Let's go. I do not want to run, man, if I'm keeping the buck with you. Soto Burns? I mean, Soto, I think, is going to resign. I don't even think he hits free agency. I think he ends up resigning in New York even before he really has the opportunity to. Oh, I've been on play action. Oh, pick that! Byron! I mean, we get the stop, but Byron, I'm going to need you to make a play there, my guy. So the task for this you think the Patriots be fun? Hell yeah, new quarterback, man. Anytime you can get a rookie quarterback, it's a fun rebuild. You got Soto going to the jo Dodgers? There's no way. At least, I agree, Daddy. I don't know why they switched the camera angle at all. Like, I don't mind this one, if I'm being honest. I'm kind of enjoying it. But, yeah, I, I don't know why they would have taken away the, the old camera angle. The other big thing about Madden is it's going to be tough for me to adjust to running under center again. The playbook that I run in EA College Football, every run in the game is is out of shotgun. Yeah, running, running the ball feels real good, chat. Running the ball feels real good. Just absolutely trying to run it out here. Get down to the two-minute warning. Giants are going to have to start taking their timeouts here. Otherwise, we're looking to come away with a dub here in week one, 21 to 17. AJ McCarthy's played very, very well. We also want to switch this if possible. Perfect. Can we get the full? We can't get the fullback in motion. Can we get the tight end in motion? Nope. Can't get anyone in motion. Sounds good. All right. Doesn't block up the greatest. Did Aaron Jones get hurt at some point in this game? Like I, I, Aaron Jones is supposed to be my power back and my my third down back. Did we lose Aaron Jones to an injury already? One quarter on an MZL sprain. Brutal. All right, so they rotate the safety down into the box, dude. The pre, the pre. I'm just gonna keep gushing about it because it's legitimately so cool. The pre-play movement defensively is so damn good in this game it makes it feel so realistic what you're looking at do you rate for madden it's this is literally my first game playing i can't even give a give a rating at kp what are you used to just after ncaa uh jake i want to get deep into this franchise and this isn't my long-term franchise but the reason i'm playing the moments is legitimately hopefully so i can just get into a couple of years before we move over to our real franchise Trust TJ Hawkinson. Trust Hawk. Find your safety valve. JJ McCarthy with a fucking dot to end the game. You'll love to see it. Hit the quarterback kneel. Does it actually simulate out like college football does? What a dot for the rookie. To answer your question, no, it does not. It does not simulate out. Okay. Uh, coaching adjustments. Go ahead and chew clock. 
Yeah, and that was a really nice quality of life feature that they, they added in uh, EA College Football. I kind of wish they would have brought that over. Although, I guess doing math, I don't actually... No, nah, we're chilling. Yeah, quarterback Neil should be it. McCarthy with a dot? Nah, dude, McCarthy's going to be pro-ready. He's going to look pretty good this year. He's going to shock some people, man. Chubby, thank you for that follow. Victory tackle animations look better. I wouldn't say the animations look better. I will say it feels much better to tackle in this game than it does in EA, in EA College Football. Like, you can definitely tell. EA College Football is very much made to be, like, a arcade game. This game feels a lot more grounded. It feels a lot more realistic. That's the biggest thing I'll say about it so far. So defense feels a lot more grounded. You can feel the weight of the players a lot more than you can on EA College Football. EA College Football is meant to be like wide out, just like balls to the wall the whole time. I'm a Steelers fan? I am a Steelers fan. Have you seen the Debo package formation? Uh, no, but I remember it from prior years. Crosby's getting an extension soon? That's what I've heard. All right, chat. Just like that, skull, baby. Walk into MetLife, get a 21-17 win over the New York Giants in week one. And it is time to play the San Francisco 49ers in week two. And we're going to be debuting our Winter Warrior jerseys. They're so sick, man. Agreed, Aiden. I wish it wouldn't have been so hard to find a K-9 throwback last year. I just spent $200 at the fucking Seahawks Stadium last year. I went to Seahawks Steelers in seattle last year and picked up this jersey on new year's so expensive you think fields or wilson will start i mean fields looked good in the first preseason game i think they're both going to see extended time in in this next preseason game so i'm curious so for Minnesota, three years, 8.7. I mean, damn, that's a you get absolutely, road. You can't ask for much that's a more than cheap that contract. The year. And they will head back it was worth it for an avid franchise player. Week. I think franchise got the biggest well, upgrades the this Jets, year, for sure. Obviously fall to one with the defeat. And they'll try to I mean, it's too early ball. to say whether or not it's good. J.J. McCarthy goes 17-20 to 20 for 193 yards and a touchdown. So he also Charles has Davis, probably... I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles I would have to guess like another 30 again. rushing, right? 35 yards rushing. Aaron Jones goes 11 for 47. I might need to turn up the, the amount of minutes in the quarter if I'm going to do play the moments. Because that felt really, really quick. Kyle Allen QB1, imagine. Which team should I choose to rebuild? Do you want a quarterback or do you not want a quarterback? If you don't want a quarterback, someone like the Raiders would be pretty solid. If you do want a quarterback, um, like obviously the Bears would be would be solid. The Chargers are kind of a fun rebuild. I The one thing I am curious about is I'm curious to see what the, like, the spectacular catch animations, the new ones, I haven't used that button yet. So I'm waiting to do that with friends. I mean, I respect that. All right, chat, let's go ahead and set our scouting. You, like I told you guys, what we are looking for is interior offensive and interior defensive line. Also could use the help in the secondary, whether that be a safety in a corner. Uh, honest to God, I, I could see this being a year where I use my tier three scout on corner or safety. Let's go ahead and look at the region breakdowns. So the strength is corner. The it, it's a it's a bit good corner draft. Yeah. Tier three corner. Yes, please. Do we have a tier three corner safety? Uh perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, so that's our national scout. We love to see it. Now let's go. Region by region. In the West, you got right outside linebacker, you got corner, you got, got right tackle. Left guard, left tackle, left outside linebacker, not the best. Hmm. Wide receiver, corner, right guard, right end, left end. I mean, there's some ends in there. Looks like there's a handful of defensive defensive ends in here. So I think in the in the West, we're actually gonna look for a one-tier defensive end. Maybe one tier defensive end. Ugh. I guess you go interior offensive line, defensive end, or you could go D tackle D end, I guess, theoretically too. But we got we need defensive end, we need interior offensive line, we need corner, we need safety. Like those are the those are the big, big needs. D end running back? I don't mind that. D end tight end. I oh, will go D end D tackle. That's a tier three. Do we have any D ends D tackle tier ones? Love it. What is this? This is a franchise. Is Man Franchise crossplay? Yes. Man Franchise did launch today. Yes. Perfect. What do we got in the central? Defensive tackle, quarterback, right end, right outside linebacker, right tackle, tight end as your weaknesses. What jersey are you wearing? I'm wearing a backup um, 
a, uh, sorry, not, not a backup, a throwback Kenneth Walker jersey. I don't know why that was so hard. Oh, for sure, Va. I'm still going to be playing it off stream a fair amount. I've been keeping up with the, the content. I mean, D-tackle here wouldn't be bad. Also, you have a decent center here. You have a right guard a little bit. Yeah, I think this has got to be a D-tackle region, man. D-tackle. Yeah, that's got to be it. Interior defensive line, interior offensive line. That's that's legitimately what we're looking for here. D tackle inside O line. Although I I think I'm gonna do D tackle the end here as well. You like college ball or Madden better? They're different games. It's hard to it's hard to say. Like if you want a really open car arcadey style game, then EA College Football is your your go to. And I will say I generally tend to like recruiting more than I like scouting. Um, but that's just me personally. Overall, I think the changes of the draft and the scouting and the quality of life changes they made to like the the menus when you're looking at players is going to be huge. Holy piss. There's three left ends in the top 100. I can't see their archetypes at all. You also have two right outside linebackers. Can I go outside linebacker and ends? Dude, this is a god awful interior offensive line draft. Yeah, I think you got to go defensive end and outside linebacker here. And this actually wouldn't be a bad one to do tier two if there's a tier two defensive end. Perfect. Tier two defensive end, outside linebacker. You love to see it. How does scouting work? So you pick your scouts, you set them on regions based on what you're looking for in those specific regions. And then uh, outside of that, it's just you wait. <laughs> that's that's really all it, all it boils down to. Then let's look at the southeast. Please be a good region for interior offensive line. Nothing, dude. Left guard, round one, two. Right guard, two, three. Right guard, three, four. Left guard, three, four. Three, four. All right, that's that's not a bad interior offensive line. No, I like this guy, bro. I I love Kenneth Walker. He's legitimately carried my uh, fancy team the last couple of years. My my best friend in the world, Keenan's not in here anymore, I don't think, but my best friend in the world is a really, really big Seahawks fan. And because of that, I am like a closet Seahawks fan, even though my Steelers are my first love. But. All right, and then set this for the southeast, and then we have all of our our uh, scouts locked in. Love to see it. Steelers fan, love to hear it. Yeah, I'm a big Steelers fan. I'm a big Ste like Pittsburgh sports fan across the board. Before we jump over, though, chat, I need to make some changes. First of all, in case you guys are wondering, roughing the kickers are also broken in this game like they are in um, NCAA. So we're going to bump it up to 10 minutes, especially if we're going to be playing the moment. That should be just fine. And then I need to go turn off roughing the kicker. Because I'm not about to get dominated on this over and over and over again. The game options. It's not. That should be in the in the league settings, isn't it? Gameplay sliders? Is it in penalties? There you go. Roughing the kicker. Turn that shit off. Roughing the kicker. Just, it's just as broken in this game. Very, very annoying. All right, and then we'll advance the week. That's a big week one win, though. We'll take that. Now we have a very, very tough game, though. I think we're probably going to get blown out, but that's okay. You win some, you lose some, chat. Got the 49ers at home. We will be busting out the new jerseys, though. Please, whatever you do, Defend the medium pass. Do not get hit with play action. Brock Purdy stats are nuts, dude. 118 passer rating deep, 114 passer re rating medium, and 105 short passer rating. That is absurd. That is absurd. We're going to look to throw it short against this Niners defense. Niners defense has ruined me the last couple of years. I've played them too. Not going to sack the quarterback five times. We are going to look for two-plus passing touchdowns with J.J. McCarthy. Then we'll go ahead and start training. Dallas turn already up to an 80 overall, which is huge. You absolutely love to see it. 
If you guys are enjoying the stream, by the way, if you're enjoying it over on Twitter, if you're enjoying it over on TikTok, if you're enjoying it over on Twitch, be sure to drop a like on the stream. Helps me out a lot. Uh, I can see more of my content. Very much appreciate it. Well, let's go ahead and get into this chat. We're going to be playing the moments. You guys know the deal. Edit uniforms. We are going to be wearing the whites. Oh, the alternate classics are sick, too. Is it their color rushes, right? So there they are. All whites with the white helmets, the Winter Warrior jerseys. They're actually super sick. Big fan of those. And then the Niners are going to have to wear their homes then. Let's get it. We're playing Madden, yeah. I'm actually enjoying it, too. It's really, really well done, man. Really well done. It's week two of the National Football League. And if it's in the game... It's in the game. It's the 49ers and the Vikings. And it's coming right up on EA Sports. All right. This is a big game, man. Big game early in the season. This is, uh, we're a little bit overmatched. Brings us to the Twin Cities. And US Bay Ooh, is this our first Mike Tirico, Greg Olson game? Seems really slow. If you've been playing EA College football, this game is going to feel way slow. I am wearing a K9 jersey, yep. Hey, look at that, chat. Mike Tirico and Greg Olson on the call. With the skull chant in the background, J.J. McCarthy leading the team out in those all-white, beautiful, beautiful Winter Warrior jerseys. And we're going to hope that we don't just get absolutely obliterated by the San Francisco Giants here. And our defense already needs help to start this game, which is exactly what you're looking for at home in Week 2. The pre-stat movement of the defense is elite. Once again, I will keep talking about it because it is so good. Good tackle, CJ, or not CJ, Christian McCaffrey. Stephon Gilmore steps up to make the tackle in the run game. That's huge. I'm going to join Madden like this since Madden 20. Yeah. I'm curious to see. I still need more time with this game, but overall, it's felt pretty good right now. Ooh. Hit me where I'm not. Brandon Ayuk comes across the middle. Hopefully, the new Steeler makes a play. Did I say the San Francisco Giants, bro? I'm so locked in MLB the show. Goddamn. San Francisco 49ers. And he's wide open on the corner. What a throw by Purdy. I do not think he got two feet down, though. I don't know about that one, man. I don't know about that one. All right, that's fine. Chance in the red zone coming back the other way. See if we can match him. JBJ McCarthy. I have historically not liked out outside routes like... Uh, the comeback routes here but i'm kind of going to throw this one to see if it works they bail out underneath i'm going to take off although the the dude running the drag there was wide open jj mccarthy a lot more athletic than i gave him credit for going into this season i thought it was going to be kind of tough to throw or to run with him he's he's kind of killing it for me so far anytime i can step up in the pocket i feel i feel like i can get like eight to ten yards with him pretty pretty easily aaron jones follows his offensive line in and just like that it's a tie ball game let's get it 10-7 San Francisco, and now we have a third down with the chance to keep this drive line. Third and four. Let's see if we can hit Jay Jettis here. Did you retire from Kansas? Nah, dude. I'm still going to be playing NCAA. It's just Madden drop today, man, so I wanted to play it. Oh, fuck. Don't break off your route. Don't break off your route. Damn it. If he keeps running to the outside there, I can throw on the run. That's unfortunate. Defense kind of holding steady here, though. Big field goal, 49-yard field goal. It's my first field goal in this game. I have to feel like I've, I'm pretty decent at it after playing NCAA for so long. I mean, listen, chat. Listen. Hey, let's go. Texans are going to be good. Yeah, the Texans are actually disgusting on this game, too. They're set up to be very successful. Let's go. 49-yard kick to start. My kicking uh, here on, on this game. And I don't know if I trust running man against this Niners team. I feel like that that is a mistake. I feel like that is a mistake. They have so many weapons. Oh, now I'm out on an island against McCaffrey. He just cooks me. Just absolutely cooks me on the out. But it doesn't matter. Dallas Turner is able to get in and get Brock Purdy to the ground. The rookie sensation comes through. It's the first sack we've seen from him while we were playing the game. 
but I don't know if he got a sack in that first game. I need to do a little bit better at checking out what's going on. I'm kind of terrified that I'm going to click field goal here and the clock's going to run down to zero because the clock management's broken and play the moments. Nope, they actually got the stop. Or they stopped the clock. You'd love to see it. This will be a 38-yard attempt. He is two for Love it. Two. Dirt worked on defense really good. Defense feels really good in this game. You can, Thick. Yep. Love to see it, chat. Let's keep it going. Keeping the third down alive here. Third and two. We're going to go halfback stretch here. Or at least we're going to come out in it. I don't really know how I feel about running against this 49ers defense. Very, very good. Gets decent blocks. Aaron Jones is able to make one defender miss and get over the yard to gain. Big time. Take the 20 to 13 lead. I'm surprised I didn't play the moment in the red zone there. EA play trial come out. Uh, if it's like EA college football, the EA play trial will come out tomorrow. But I don't know if that's the case. I need you to make a play. Huge cut stick there to prevent the screen from going for big yards. Able to cut down McCaffrey. That's big. All right, defense needs help. It's 20 to 16 with eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. Chance to really come through, and this would be a huge game on all Madden against the Niners, man. A Super Bowl favorite in our white jerseys for the first time. This would be clutch. I'm terrified of McCaffrey every single time he goes out in motion, if I'm being honest. Prevents the catch there, although I don't know how I prevented the catch because it definitely felt like he caught that, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Fields won MVP at 4,633. Damn, that's nuts. Oh, my God. I went the wrong way. That's tough. That's tough. Does it come out Eastern time? I don't know. I don't know. Woo! That was out of reach. My, my corner didn't even try to make a play on that ball. Uh, I don't hate cover three, Sky. Although, can we... Show a cover two, cover two shell here, actually being cover three. Oh my god, I ran over over top of that. That would have been an easy pick out. I just sat on McCaffrey. I should have known he was going to come back to it. All right, third and goal from the three yard line. I'm going to send pressure, man. I'm going to send pressure. I'm just going to think that my my athletes are better than their athletes, man. We send pressure. Not everyone can get stopped. Doesn't matter. It's open over the middle, and that's so brutal. That's so brutal. Jennings gets open for the touchdown. It's going to make it a 23-20 ball game. Hopefully, I get to play the moment. Coming back the other way? Nope. Third down alert. Keep the game alive here. Third and three. I don't really love running the football on third and three, but we'll go play action cross, see if we can get the crosser. I wonder who they lost to. I should have checked that. How do you like Madden so far? It feels pretty good. Start school today. That's brutal. Sorry, school. This. Play action now. I'm looking to run. Get to the corner. Got to be faster, JJ. All right, fourth and one. They have to give me the ability to go for this, man. They will. I'm going to go out of shotgun and look to run the football. I mean, we'll see what they come out in, but I'm going to try to spread them out and see if we can get, like, an inside zone here. It's. I mean, it's three on three. I just need you guys to get up to the second level, and we should be able to do this. They do. Aaron Jones into the open field. Huge. Tries to hit the juke there. Doesn't work. That's okay, though. Convert on the fourth and one with a chance to win the game, man. 20 for 104 for Aaron Jones. Feels pretty good against this Niners defense, if we're being honest. I don't want to go here. I don't want to go here. Something like short. I don't really trust my offensive line's ability to hold up against their pass rush. See if we can get Hawkinson on the, the crosser. Although you do have Jay Jettis on the dig back behind it. That is the mic right there. We also have Aaron Jones coming across on the cross. Hawkinson's open over the middle, and that's going to be another first down. Time for me to start taking some time off the clock, man. I mean, yeah, if, if you haven't been a fan of Madden games, you're probably not going to be a fan of this game. But I'm going to be honest, since like since Madden 23, probably, I thought that the gameplay has been getting better and better in Madden, if I'm keeping it real. Like, is it perfect? No. Jay Jettis on the outside here might be 101 for a touchdown. I'm looking to the outside. Jay Jettis 101 first, and then maybe to the running back Texas route. 
Nah, Jettis isn't open. We're going to take off a run with McCarthy. Very, very athletic. We'll go ahead and slide. And we're inside the 10. And now we're going to start chewing the clock. Love the new announcers. Facts. Tariko, Tariko and uh, Greg Olson have been pretty solid in this game. I've actually been kind of a big fan of it. All right, down to a minute, 23 seconds left. We're going to take this all the way down to, like, one second left before we snap it. Mm, Jones really can't go anywhere with that. It's going to be second and goal. We're going to keep keep chewing the clock, though. Keep chewing the clock. I, dude, I have time to run this football again, if I'm being honest. I actually might. I mean, four down territory here. We're going to go inside zone again, man. JJ's release is pretty smooth. His his signature animations are pretty cool. When is your draft? Oh, it's a, it's a long time from now. How do you like it compared to college football? It's just a different game, man. Like I, I've been saying to people, it's kind of hard to compare the two because realistically, this game is like so slow and methodical, whereas EA College Football is so like open and arcadey. They almost don't even feel like the same game. All right, third and goal. I'm going to take this inside 10 seconds, and then I have three timeouts, man. I have three time timeouts. That should be enough to get off two plays here. Third and goal from the one. I think I might go quarterback sneak with JJ McCarthy here. Now they get the timeout. Interesting goal line I, am i close enough to, to hit a quarterback sneak here i mean worst case scenario i could do it two times in a row Ooh, this is gonna be a tough sneak this is gonna be a tough sneak actually looks good this year i'm enjoying it this is early access and he sneaks in jj mccarthy gives us the lead 27 23 with nine seconds left in the fourth quarter the all madden franchise performing very very well so far your minnesota vikings might be 2-0 and after this game man Let's get it. Pace Jr. step inside. Go ahead and back up. Make the play. Oh, my God. He, he dropped it. Thank God. Woo! For sure, Hunter. For sure. This is early access. Let's go. The Vikings are able to get a win in their first time in the Winter Warrior all-white uniforms. First of all, those uniforms are so sick. And they look really, really good in game. But that's a huge win over the Niners, man. Absolutely giant win over the Niners. Can I cop it when it drops? I'm enjoying it a lot. I like the Vikings fight song at the end of the game, too. How are people playing this? I got the 150 bundle for NCAA. I, that's how I'm playing it, too, Patrick. If you go to the, your owned games on either Xbox or PlayStation, you should be able to download it. Oh, man, actually hard this year? Uh, it definitely has not felt nearly as hard as... Um, NCAA football, man. So end up with 173 yards passing for JJ McCarthy, 14 to 20. No touchdowns, no picks. I mean, that is what it is. Rushing, Aaron Jones goes 22 for 112 and two touchdowns. McCarthy gets a touchdown there as well. Defensively, Dallas Turner goes for two sacks. Harrison Phillips goes for a half. Pace goes for a half. No picks on the day, which is a little bit unfortunate, but those sacks for Dallas Turner, Turner is going to come in uh, come in clutch. Standard Edition pre-order is available today, too, not just Deluxe or MVP. Isn't it just Deluxe and MVP? Am I wrong about that? Very hard week two through six stretch. We're going to see. We're going to see here. Jerry Tillery gets the upgrade. I mean, he's not a part of our long-term plans, but we'll take the extra overall. Wow, that's crazy. It would be the first time ever that Madden did that, huh? Oh, do you play on Xbox, Chad? Because it looks like they accidentally unlocked all of the Xbox versions right now. We need FCS college football. Agreed. We need we need uh, the Montana Grizzlies in the game. PS5, really? That's crazy. Damn, I lose Jordan Addison to a dislocated new for four weeks. Well, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Do we have anyone? First of all, let's set our regional scouting focuses. So national, that's fine. In the west, if I remember right, I was looking for defensive ends. That's fine. Perfect. Central. What is my scout? In the central, D-tackle, D-end. Was I looking D-ends for there, too? Was I looking D-tackles? 
All right, is there any, oh damn, I can't even see the archetypes yet. Right end, D-tackle, D-tackle, left end, D-tackle. I'm gonna go D-tackles here. You get eight, nine wins. I mean, that division is really, really hard. That's really what it, what it boils down to with them. All right, we're gonna go defensive ends here. And then interior offensive line, I believe, in the southeast, if I remember right. Yes, sir. It's all about the offensive and defensive line for this Vikings team, man. Although we are we are in a world of hurt right now with, with losing Addison. I need to go look at the trade block to see if there's anyone available. The issue is I don't have the ability really to like trade any draft picks this season i guess i could dra trade my draft picks from two seasons for now what's up bigasolo what kind of lawyer are you irl i do a lot of civil litigation uh mostly like estate and probate litigation some uh like adoption which is cool demario douglas 5 8 alec pierce wicks tolbert Ooh, LaVisca Chenault, I actually don't hate. KJ Hamler, ooh, Jalen Hyatt's on the... Oh, buddy. Jalen Hyatt might need to be my new outside receiver, chat. I mean, what do you think I can give up for Jalen Hyatt here? I mean, like, he's a 70, 73 overall normal. That has to be, like, a fifth-round pick, right? Which is the best player there? I want Hyatt's speed on the outside, man. A five? Maybe we'll start with a six. We'll see what a six, where a six gets me. Holy piss. Not even close. Legitimately not even close. A fifth isn't even close either. I don't, dude, it looks like they, they want a lot for him. Like, can I give you a, God, a third next year feels not great. Fourth? Five? This year, five next year. The issue is I'm I'm starting to run low on draft picks, man. They're that's just not even moving the needle. Five this year, five next. Ugh. I just don't think it's worth it, right? I I don't think I can give up like a third round pick for him. Look at the trade suggestion. Yeah, I guess I could do that. What are the offers? Two thirds, a fifth, two fourths, or three fifths, two fourths, and a seventh. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one, Chief. Two thirds for, for Jalen Hyatt. I I just I don't think he's worth that. I will go look at Wix, though. What is his player card? What's the speed look like there? 75 overall playmaker, 89 speed, 89 or 88 acceleration. Mario Douglas, he's got a dev trait. The issue with that is he's going to he's gonna cost a lot then. 91 speed, 93 acceleration. Yeah, that's a lot, dude. That's a lot for a 73 overall. Sky Moore. What a bust. 95 acceleration. How does he only have 89 speed? <laughs> Chase Claypool. Oh, God. Quez Watkins, Denzel Mims, Dwayne Eskridge. Yeah, so I like Demario Douglas would cost so much in terms of draft. Ooh, 95, 94. Only 5, 9, though. That would allow me to move. That would allow me to move Addison back to the outside, though. You could take KJ Hamler and throw him in the slot. 25 years old with 95 acceleration, 94 speed. He's a little guy. Filming is fast right now. He's only 24 too. 90, 88. He is not fast right now, guys. Sky Moore pick, he's way too small to play in the NFL. I mean, you can be small and be successful in the NFL. 
I mean, getting KJ Hamler here, it, it let's let's see what they want for him because KJ Hamler, like I said, would allow me to move Jordan Addison back outside. He could be a very very effective slot player. Let's go draft picks. Uh, I am a Steelers fan. I am a Steelers fan. Yeah. Can I not just? Nope. I do not want the one there. Let's get offers. Wow, they, they legitimately don't want anything from me. Start with a four. I think they're going to be pretty decent, though. I think the Steelers win 10 games. That gives them almost half interest. What about a five this year and a four next year? What do you think about the Reddick situation, bro? He, <laughs> he looks like a jamoke. What an absolute joker. How do you bail out on your squad immediately after signing with him? Honestly, KJ Hamler for a five, a four, maybe like a seven. I don't hate that. Three picks is a lot to give up for him, though, if I'm being honest. Like, can, can I do a, a five this year, a four next year, and a seven the third year after that? He didn't sign he was traded. Was he traded? I thought he signed. Look at free agency. There's not really anyone available in free agency is the issue. Dude, they're so close to accepting that. No, I, I'm in the regular season now. I guess I could see who's who's available in free agency, but if I remember right, there was not much in the way of free agent choices at wide receiver. They didn't resign him, and that's why he wants out. Ah, that makes more sense. Makes more sense. I retract my, my statement about him being a Jamoke, though. You got Robbie, Robbie Anderson. 94 94 Marquise Goodwin Mar Marquise Goodwin would be an interesting pickup for a year Avante Turpin 5 9 all these tiny ass receivers who were just super fast but just so small I mean Marquise Goodwin as a slot receiver actually would not be terrible 94 94 I'm cool with that 14 million in cap room on a one-year deal. Welcome to the squad, Marquise. He was straight because he wanted a new contract. I, the, or the, the salary cap for the Eagles is a fake thing. It doesn't exist. Uh, visual, Adam. I'm playing on my PS5 and I'm playing with visual. All right, let's go ahead and set my depth chart. We're going to get, we're going to keep, uh, Goodwin in the slot, but this actually does open up our, our receivers a little bit more. Cause like I said, Addison, Addison being able to play more, more so in the, his, his preferred role is actually going to be kind of nice. He's out for four weeks right now, but we'll bring Goodwin in. He'll be our number two. He'll also be our slot receiver. Dude. And kill the fact that in kill Harry is a, is a Viking is is kind of crazy to me. Where are you? 72 overall slot receiver. We're chilling. What is Addison's overall? 82. How he's a wizard? That's facts. Third by age? Nah, that's okay. There was a couple, I know there was a couple of younger guys that were like 67, 68 overalls, but at the end of the day, that's that's really not that big a deal. Nope. Middle linebacker. I only have three. After cutting him, I'd only have three middle linebackers on my roster. Ugh. I don't feel great about that. If we if we start getting some injuries, we're going to be in a bad place. All right, chat. Before we go ahead and play our next week, let's go ahead and get our, our staff Welcome points. Start spending staff. those bad guys. Bubba Dugnut looking staff to become the best head coach in the NFL. Which one's the development trick? Or the one where you can add more people? Additional focus players. This is I speed run this, dude. I speed run this this skill tree so I can get so I can get have more more dev players. It's that's literally the best one as a as a coach. Without a doubt, the best one as a coach. All right, uh, we're not going to look to negotiate yet. We're going to go ahead and go weekly game plan. Got the Texans this week. This is going to be a really really tough game. Joe Mixon is not who I'm worried about here. I'm worried about the deep pass against C.J. Stroud. I do not want him to bomb me deep. No, thank you. We're going to keep throwing it short with J.J. McCarthy. It's been pretty effective. Steep and Dan, thank you guys for those follows. And then Dallas Turner, Lewis Seen, and JJ McCarthy are going to be our uh, our three dev players, man. What do I think about the Jags this year? It's all going to depend on how good Trevor Lawrence plays. That's that's always what it's going to boil down to with the Jags, if we're being honest. 
They're ready to take the next step. But in order to do it, Trevor needs to take the next step. And I'm not even hating on Trevor Lawrence. I think he's a really, really good quarterback. But J.J. McCarthy gets a dev trait. You love to see it. We're going to keep... Nope, not what I wanted to do there. Damn, that's a big upgrade for strong arm, though. Plus one awareness, plus one break sack, plus four play action, plus one throw accuracy deep, plus one throw accuracy mid, plus one throw on the run. That's huge. Definitely wanted to go field general there, but we'll take that. That's true, Jet. That's true. What are our messages? I haven't been paying attention to it. Ryan O'Neal sideline. A quad, strain, a quad strain occurred today. He'll be out of the lineup this week. Sweet. Losing my starting right tackle for a game against Daniil Hunter definitely isn't going to come back to suck. Okay. What do you think about Madden so far? I think it feels really, really good. I think it feels really good. I think it feels really grounded in comparison to EA College Football. EA College Football feels a lot more arcadey, which is not a bad thing. It's just different. All right, we're going to go current alternative classic. We're going to rock the throwbacks. The Vikings throwbacks are pretty elite too, if we're talking throwback jerseys. Let's see what, uh, let's go ahead and see what commentary team. Sounds like uh, Charles Davis and Brandon Godden again. I like that Greg Olson team, man. Big fan of it. All right. No, it's Kate Scott and Brock Heward. Just kidding. So does Brandon, Brandon, uh, Brandon Charles always do the intro, and then you get a different, different team when you actually load into the game? You a Vikings fan? No, I'm a Steelers fan. I just thought the Vikings would be a fun short-term rebuild until Team Builder comes out. We're gonna do a Montana-based franchise when Team Builder drops, and I want to be able to get a couple of years in. So I felt like play the moments on this Viking franchise would be a great way to do it. All right, defense needs to make a stop right off the get-go. Second and six, they're already driving against us. That's brutal. This this new look Texans offense is actually going to be pretty nasty with Joe Mixon, Stroud, Stephon Diggs. I will tell you what, feels much better to tackle in this game, though. Thoughts on the Steelers-Texans game? It's a preseason game. Most of the Steelers starting defense didn't start, so I'm not really overly worried about it. I thought Justin Fields looked pretty okay in the short amount of time he got to play. Make the tackle. Good shit. Agreed, Army One. And honestly, the the ones that I'd want to play would be edge rusher in both games and tight end in both games. Used to playing superstar mode as a tight end used to be elite, dude. Like going out and blocking and pancaking people and then like having a hundred yards receiving. Damn. Give up the touchdown there to Joe Mixon. He's able to fight over the end zone. All right, third down alert though. Coming back the other way. Third and six. Let's see if JJ McCarthy can convert. Got Marquise Goodwin in the slot. Feel pretty good about this. Jay Jett is on the backside, too. I wouldn't hate a back shoulder fade to him if I could make it happen. They step up. We're gonna, ooh, I thought I was going to be able to step up and get the first down there. I'm not able to. That's unfortunate. We're going to punt. And just like that, we're back in the red zone. Damn, I really thought I was going to be able to step up in the pocket there. What do you think about the game? I think it plays very solidly so far. I'm a big fan of how it feels. All right, let's see if they blitz here. If they do not, hit Jettis over the middle. Love it. First down, way to convert. 51 yards already for J.J. McCarthy in this game, which you love to see. Playing first person. The first person was so hard in that game. Oh, Jesus. Who was that that just lit that up? I don't even know how to pronounce your name. Good Lord, my guy. Holy shit. Can we just talk about how much this D-tackle just on a stunt just blew this play up? Literally heat seeker, bro. First of all, I don't know what my right tackle's doing. But that's unfortunately Brian O'Neill being out for this game is going to come back to bite me more ways than one. But damn. What does IDing the mic do? It sets your pass protection or sets your blocking. He's now forced to pick himself from behind the line. Thanks to a great effort defensively. Gee, Willikers. All right, third and six, able to convert and get a little bit there. We're going to go mesh, see if we can get a Jettis over the middle, I guess. Nope, just kidding. He's the out. Uh, can we do an out route instead of a... Can't get it out. Throw out a sack. That's unfortunate. We'll take our three. 
Is it worth the money? I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so far. I do generally enjoy football games, though, so I'm, I'm a little bit biased on this, if we're being honest. Should be a good kick. We're chilling. 7-3. to three. Big third down stop here. We're going to go cover six. I don't actually love cover six in this situation. Let's go Tampa two. Oh, it doesn't matter. Defense gets there before they can get the screen off. Phillips gets the sack, and that's a huge stop in a 7-3 ball game. We'll get the ball back. Offense can't do anything, and just like that, it's 14-3, and they have a chance to score again. This game could get out of hand here if we can't hold them to three here. Going to be using Cashman. Let's see if they run the football. They don't. Oh, I went the wrong way. Damn it. I, I trusted he was going to check down to the or running back there rather than the receiver. It's unfortunate. Yeah, we're, we're, I think we're going to end up losing this game, which is okay. I mean, we just beat the Niners. Being 2-1 and one after this three-game stretch would actually be pretty solid. Oh, that's a pick! Let's go! Dallas Turner with his first NFL pick. I'm assuming. No idea. I didn't see him picking the ball off in the first two games. Dallas Turner has two sacks last week, and now he has an interception this week. We got our first turnover celebration. I like the look of it. I'm a big fan. Andrew Van Ginkle looks kind of weird. And our defense has to make another stop. Good Lord. I think in J.J. McCarthy's turning the ball over quite a lot in this game. That is unfortunate. They're going to run the football. Able shed there. Second and four. Damn, that's tough, man. That's tough. Dallas Turner makes a pick and then immediately to give the ball back is just not what you're looking for. One-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Just wide open. Is that Stefan? No, Collins. Nico Collins. Damn, they have so many fucking players on this team. This this Houston Texans team is legitimately disgusting, man. Just playmaker after playmaker after playmaker everywhere you look. They are absolutely stacking the line. So we're going to go ahead and come out and try to throw the football here. Let's see if we can hit Hawkinson. Can't get across. That's Jay Jettis, and he's going to hit the hit the speed burst there and hit that signature. Hit him with the gritty. I pressed signature. It works. Dude, it's so good, Josh. It's so good. They have so many playmakers. Jay Jettis gets open easy over the middle there. I'm bummed that he didn't hit the gritty. I hit signature. It didn't work. Our defense needs another stop. Good Lord, man. The Texans are just abusing me right now. This is crazy. I can't do anything against this offense. My defense is getting cooked. Nice. Yeah, tackling definitely, especially the gang tackling, feels way, way, way better. Way, way, way better in this game than it does in EA College football. Pick that. Yes, sir. Byron Murphy with the pick. They try to go to Stefan Diggs in the back of the corner. The corner isn't fooled, though. He's able to get a big takeaway. Thought so mad so far. I think he's playing really well. White Sox lead the Yankees. Yeah, that's nuts. White Sox 5-2, huh? Let's go, baby. Cashman's good. Cashman's good. Oh, did I not get a second foot in? No, I did. We're chilling. We're chilling. Offense, bro, you guys are getting cooked. I'm getting you turnovers, and you guys are doing nothing. This is brutal. Already got back on NCAA. I mean, I don't think it's an either-or thing. I think both games are going to be pretty decent. They're just going to do different things differently. Like, if you want if you want to play a more grounded, like, more realistic-feeling game, the Madden is where you're looking. But if you're looking to play, like, a, a slightly more... Um, arcadey game, then of course NCAA football is going to be what you're looking for. Again, just ran away from me. It's not fast. See, I mean, CJ Stroud, we've made him turn the ball over a lot in this game. To be to be honest, like the defense, they've, they're about to give up 28 points potentially, but they have not been the issue today. Oh, that was me. That was me if I could step in front of that. Oh, I read it too late. All right, fourth down alert, fourth and seven here. Let's see if we can get anything going with JJ. I'm kind of curious to see what statistically he looks like so far in this game. I have to guess we have a lot, a lot, a lot of turnovers. Yeah, two picks on the day for JJ McCarthy, 165 yards, one touchdown, two picks. 
I think those are our first two picks of the season, though, so it's kind of hard to, like, be overly upset on them. Like, some of these some of these games as a, a rookie are just going to happen. I can't get the ball off. Damn. Harris is able to get in there, stop me on fourth down. And that's going to be the end of the game. Houston ends up winning 28-10. to 10. That's our first loss on the season. Being, if you would have told me we'd be 2-1 and one after playing the Niners, the Giants, and the Texans, though, I would be totally okay with that. 1-2 and two is what I expected, so... Boys. No, I don't play ultimate team. So I don't play ultimate team. When you win on the road for a couple reasons. Yeah, yeah I, I do remember. I I remember silencing those road crowds. There's no better feeling than to hear, you know, those. Oh, Batanti, that would have been so brutal. Oh my god, I would have felt so bad. You beat them in their That's my fault. I literally just jumped on because I started streaming on Twitter for the first time and I wanted to see what it looked like. You have to celebrate that road victory and a whole road trip home to take it all in. It is Madden. Madden. What's up, Matt Olson? If you're still in here. This is Madden 25. It is Madden 25. All right, JJ McCarthy, not the greatest game there. I almost feel like the playbook is limiting us here. I feel like maybe the Vikings playbook isn't the best. Maybe we should try the Bengals. They'll kick next 61. That's crazy. That's a, that's a nuts stream streak, man. I like the Bengals playbook historically. Is there stadium pressure like NCAA? There is not any home field advantage in this game, no. Dude, the, the menus on this game do feel very sluggish, though. That's one thing I'm not a big fan of. Like, the NCAA, like playing this game after EA College football, like, this game does not feel snappy like that game does in the menus. It's brutal. Am I stupid or is this not in alphabetical order? It's based on the team name, not the city name. Never mind. Buffalo, Cincinnati. All right, we're going to try Zach Taylor. Multiple zone run. I mean, West Coast zone run works, but we could go multiple zone run. Let's see what it looks like. 70% scheme fit, vertical zone run. I don't hate vertical zone run. That's 87. West Coast zone run. We'll keep it West Coast zone run, even though we'll we'll be using the Bengals playbook. They got rid of momentum. They did get rid of momentum in this game, yeah. Which is actually kind of good, because the momentum did not historically feel very good. All right. Advance of the week. We got the Packers coming in in week four. Obviously, a really, really big game. We have to go to Lambeau. And we got a storyline. Press conference. Let's see what the press wants to talk to me about. Hutch, it's they're very different games, man. It's almost hard to compare Madden and EA or uh, NCAA football. Like NCAA feels so arcadey and wide open and like fast, and this game feels like more weighted and realistic. What has JJ McCarthy done well so far as this season? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty happy with his completion percentage. And our CFB, which you before uh, prefer. It's just different games, man. It's just different games. I will say that I have historically always loved the two things about uh, EA College Football that this, I mean, they can't do anything about is uh, recruiting is really fun in EA College Football. I prefer recruiting over scouting in Madden. And the other big thing that I prefer in in EA College Football is uh, the roster turnover. The fact that you basically have a whole new team every four years keeps dynasties feeling like super, super fresh. Whereas like in this game, when you get a player, you're, you're locking in for 10 years. So, which is not like necessarily a bad thing. It's just a, a much different feel. All right, Josh Jacobs. We're going to try to stop the short pass against Jordan Love. Has a 94 passer rating down there. Uh, we'll keep throwing it short with JJ McCarthy. I like that. It's been working pretty well for me. 200 yards rushing. I'm not looking to do that. We'll do two plus passing touchdowns. I'm kind of curious to see how the Bengals playbook does in sim too. If you guys didn't realize Madden simulation really boils down to playbooks. That's why you see very similar teams every game um, for like Super Bowls. Like the Cowboys and Browns always perform really, really well in sim. The Chiefs really perform well in sim. The Bengals historically have performed pretty well in sim. So exactly, Dev. And that's that's why I've historically liked 
uh, college football games more than I've liked Madden games. Plus, it's fun to, like, be able to go to a whole different team and restart through, like, the coaching carousel and stuff. And there's not really an equivalent in this game. Like, you could re retire and join a new team and restart the rebuild, but, like... When, when I, whenever I get deep enough in a, di or a franchise where it's no longer fun, I, I basically just restart the, the franchise. In Dynasty, if it's no longer fun, I'll just go to a different team. Lewis seen up to a 72 overall. That's huge. We're going to go zone this, this go around. Give me plus one awareness, plus one pursuit, plus one zone. Eh. All right, big game against the Vikings. Who do we have to negotiate with? These players are Aaron Jones, Cameron Bynum, Byron Murphy, Harrison Phillips, Stefan Gilmore. They're not like crazy, crazy players that we need to resign. Like, I, I wouldn't mind moving off. I mean, Byron Murphy, I probably could bring back, especially because he doesn't look overly expensive. We're probably going to move off Aaron Jones. I'm not going to give a 30-year-old running back $30 million. Uh, Cameron Bynum, he's he's star, star potential, $15 million over three years. Isn't that bad? We'll probably look to bring back Byron and Cameron Bynum. Harrison Phillips at 28 overall probably should come back as well. So nothing, no one like crazy, crazy big that we have to resign though. So that's positive. All right, play the moments against the Packers. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Playing on the road in Lambeau. Curious to see what, how Lambeau looks in this game, especially now that they can show like the outsides of the stadiums. What are your thoughts on this rookie quarterback class? It could be really good, man. There's all the potential in the world with this recruiting class. It's the Vikings and the Packers, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. All right, here we go. Who do we got on this call? Mike Tirico and Greg Olson, dude, I love this. I love the multiple commentary teams. It keeps it keeps the commentary feeling so fresh. What do you think? I'm enjoying it so far. I've only played like three games so far, but it feels pretty solid. I haven't played it nearly enough to see like the issues with the game. They finally got multiple. They did finally get multiple, and they're they're all very solid. Like I don't even mind when I don't have to listen to them every game. I don't even mind Brand Godden and Charles Davis. All right, so we get our first drive here. We get to control the whole drive, which is actually clutch. It's kind of the first time we've gotten to do this all year. I don't mind the one on one out here against Justin Jefferson. I kind of want to take a shot, and he has inside leverage. Oh man, can we throw Goodwin on a post to try to hold the safety? Please give me time to throw this football. First play and McCarthy to throw. You let this go. Let's go, JJ Ennis. Hits the huge pass play. JJ McCarthy finds Justin Jefferson. JJ McCarthy, not McCarthy. Finds Justin Jefferson 39 yards down the field. I saw him pressing there, dude. I saw them pressing. You can hold hold the safety with a post with Marquise Goodwin and then just dump that. How you like it so far? It's been pretty fun, man. It's just a nice change of pace to to EA College Football, in my opinion. They're much different games. Dude, B, that's the first time I've really tried to chain together um, moves, too, and that actually feels really good. Was it Mads with Ja? Exactly, Dan. That's part of the reason I threw it, too. Or they have Team Builder for Madden, too. They do have Team Builder for Madden. That's going to be my primary dynasty when, when Team Builder comes out. We're going to be using uh, a Montana-based team, which should be really, really cool. Let's see if I can hit this flats here. They're pressing. I, I don't mind God or Goodwin trying to hit the corner. Am I going to have time to throw this football, though, is the issue. Please. Ooh. Not a bad ball. Well, Friday plus the update with it. Nah, I respect that. I respect that. The fact that I can't throw zigs anymore out of is so brutal. It's like my go-to goal line play, and I can't I can't run it, which is tough. Step up in the pocket. At a baby. JJ McCarthy able to scramble in for a touchdown, and just like that, the Vikings are up seven nothing on the Green Bay Packers. I'm going to go ahead and celebrate with his interior offensive line. J.J. McCarthy is way too white to be dancing like that. He, that dude thinks he's Drew Locke. He's not Drew Locke. He's not built like that. 
go back to school on the 14th. That's tough. Who else is available at quarterback for the Vikings? Sam Darnold is the other quarterback. Ready? Love to throw it on first down. Nice. Dallas Turner with another sack, dude. He's going to have a monster season. I think that's his fifth or sixth sack already this season. Is, is Twitch lagging? I guess I, I could go look at my stats and see. I'm not dropping frames, so it must be on your end. Appreciate that, Dan. Dude, Dallas Turner's a beast. The noise of the pads hitting together is terrible. I disagree. I like the. I, I think the sound design in this game is one of the best parts of it, at least in my opinion. Nice. Is the jumbo starter bundle worth it? I don't play Mutt, man. Broadcast team on franchise seven seven. I think it's completely random. Every game you load into, you're going to get a different one of them. So I, I don't think that there's a way to set it, as far as I know. Maybe, like, on big games, like if you're on Monday Night Football or uh, Sunday Night Football, it'll automatically Third give one to you. Jordan Love's going to scramble and get the first down. Brutal. Just absolutely brutal. Got to come out midnight? It's possible. Arizona sleeper in the NFC? I don't think they have enough talent defensively. And Dallas Turner is hurt. No. Please, God, no. Please take whatever he needs and, and take it from me. Good play. Out of baby Harrison. Are you liking Madden compared to NCAA? It's just a different game. Bruce Stern, he has a concussion. Brutal. At least it's only a one game. One game injury. I do not like straight man across the board, if we're being honest here. Is love. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Reed was the intended we'll take it. And now yeah, it's it's everyone keeps asking me that. Like, how do I feel about Madden versus EA College football? And maybe I'll make a TikTok on that tonight. They're just different games. They're just different games, man. They feel way, way differently. Oh no. God damn it. Uh no, I lost to the Texans. They're just different. Yeah, so compared to EA College Football, this game is way more grounded. Um, it feels more realistic. Whereas EA College Football is way more arcadey, way more open, way more speed-based. Overall, I, I like it. I feel like the players have really good weight. The running game feels really good. I need to start spying this quarterback, bro. Jordan Love is killing me with his legs right now. This is brutal. superstar rookie devs is there not really caleb williams there's no way that caleb williams isn't a superstar oh that's wide open uh, all right 14 14 brutal a lot better than madden this year it, it feels good man it feels good i'm gonna hit a slant to hawkinson here especially if it looks like they're blitzing I don't think they're going to be able to get that back. Do I have time to get that? They'll try and throw it with McCarthy. Bro, I just tried to step up in the pocket, please. That was like a 45-foot er, step back drop there. That's tough. All right, first and 10. I, I got way too, way too happy in the, in the pocket there. I could have sat in the pocket for like another 10 minutes and been just fine. On first down, here's McCarthy. I mean, it's not doing it tonight. What do you mean, Nick? Appreciate that, Junior. Yeah, we got the Argo tat rocking, rocking it tonight. I mean, Jay Jett is over the middle, maybe. I just don't trust my offensive line to hold up over... Oh, that's a brain-dead decision. Thank God I threw out a sack there. The alternative was me throwing a pick. I literally stared down, stared down Justin Jefferson there. There was not another person that I was looking at in, in rounds. That's brutal. I, w I will say one of the issues right now for me is the fact that Jordan Addison's hurt and I have no second option. And they're blitzing the piss out of me. This is crazy. NCAA might be the main one I play. Nothing wrong with that. Like I said, they're way different games. I I'm going to play both of them. Like, I like Madden games. I love the NFL. I love EA College football. It's been really, really fun. They're just different games. What's up, Daniel? 
Why is Tariko commentating a non-Sunday night football game? Because it's not based on Sunday night football or Monday night football. When you load into a franchise game, you just get a random commentary team, which I think is actually cool because it rotates through all of them. But why is NCAA getting so much hate now? Uh, because people hate things that are popular or people have fun with. That's really what it boils down to. Like NCAA is not a perfect game by any means, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. I, I think that people are not used to having a really, really offensive forward game. And I think people are really struggling with it. Like Madden, the offense and defense is generally pretty balanced. But if you're a defensive first player in NCAA football, you're going to have a bad time. They have three. Three sets, Aaron. Three sets of two. We didn't have for 10 years. That's exactly how I feel, too. And I'm, I'm really, like I said, I'm enjoying it, man. Like NCAA is not perfect. It has its issues. But I'm really, really enjoying how it plays. He's going to have a Vikings first down. Oh, yeah, I, I don't play any of these football games online, though. So that I think that that colors how I feel about the game, too. But Madden feels pretty good, dude. I, I do enjoy how this game plays. The running game specifically feels really, really solid in this game. Really, really solid. We'll try again here. Second and ten. Now McCarthy. Had a baby Jay Jettis. He's a five for me there, man. 252 touchdowns for J.J. McCarthy. 16 for 24, 250. I guess maybe they gave him a rushing touchdown? That was weird. It said it said one touchdown right there, but it was two touchdowns in the in the bottom left-hand corner. How's the Kansas dynasty going? We are 1-1 one one in the season so far in Kansas. The next time we stream, it'll probably be the Kansas... Oh, my God, throw it away. I'll take a sack. Agreed, Aaron. I don't think I'm not going to say online's dumb because if people enjoy it, they enjoy it. But I, I do enjoy playing offline more than online in, in these games. Good ball. Let's go. Add a baby, man. JJ McCarthy's having himself a day. It's his third touchdown in the game. You love to see it. Is man good? I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so far. Have to go to school tomorrow. That's brutal. That just feels like a big drive, doesn't it? Jalen Naylor for his first touchdown on the squad. I don't think it's the first, but... Yeah, I have a chance for a re another red zone alert here. Oh, buddy, we're back. We're back. Minnesota Vikings, chance to go up a couple of touchdowns here. We're going to see if we can hit Jay Jettis on the in-breaking in route. I don't know if we're going to be able to or if we're going to have time to. That would take way too long to develop. Nah, JJ McCarthy's going to take it himself, though. That's another touchdown for the rookie. Ooh, that would be sick, Dev. Is Heisman difficulty ridiculous? No, all Madden is way easier than Heisman, bro. That's true, Brett. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Do you play the moments only? On this franchise, I'm only playing the moments because I want to be able to get deep into the, the dynasty or deep into the franchise. We're going to do a team builder franchise when team builder drops with a team based in Montana after I make it. And that's going to be my primary franchise and we'll play every game on that. So this is like, a, can I get, you know, three, four seasons in before before doing that? Kurt Warner? Kurt Warner would be cool. All right, first time trying to run a read option in this game. Oh, terrible read. Oh, he, he bit anyway. J.J. McCarthy gets McCarthy gets hit. Doesn't matter. Still gets the first down. Dare Sloss hurt. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was Dare Slaw, right? Or am I wrong about that? Was, my left, was that my left guard? No, it was Darius Law. Two quarters. Addison's out for another two weeks. Dallas Turner's out. Dislocated ankle for Marquise Goodwin. Nothing like getting Marquise Goodwin because Jordan Addison goes down and then he immediately losing, losing him for several weeks. Bro, I am absolutely getting the injury bug right now. This is crazy. On first and ten, it's McCarthy. Step up with McCarthy. Slide. Taking advantage of the yeah, Greg Olson is a commentary. The year, dude won MVP rookie year and won the Super Bowl. That's crazy. He feels really good right now, man. I'm enjoying him. Does this game have wear and tear? It does not. Reminds me of Madden 11 317, but better graphics, you think? I mean, that's high praise. Those games were fantastic. Which rookie quarterback's the highest speed? I think it's Williams. What week are you in? This is week four. Ooh. That was that blocked up really weird. All right, second and goal. Can I hit that little like that like arrow route? That shit seems like it's broken at the goal line, man. This feels like it'd be like almost guaranteed. Although it probably is not gonna work here because that corner's kind of chilling too far out. 
Yeah, not going to work. Step up. Nice little touchdown again for JJ. Let's go. He's going to have a lot of rushing touchdowns. Oh, yeah. Jane Daniels definitely has eyes. That's right. For sure. I'm kind of surprised they didn't bring over wear and tear into this game. Since he think of that follow. You'll love to see it, chat. We're cruising. Just like that. 35-21 win over the the Green Bay Packers in week four. And your Vikings are 3-1, and one, dude. On Heisman? Or not Heisman. All, all Madden. We're chilling. Oh, just saying presentation? Yeah, I agree with that. It does kind of feel like that presentation-wise. J.J. McCarthy cooked, bro. What a game for him. Let's go ahead and check the, check the statistics. Madden is out for early access yet. 340 yards pass, er, passing and two touchdowns for J.J. McCarthy. Also has another 60 yards on the ground and three touchdowns rushing. Uh, defensively, we have... One sack from Harrison Phillips, one sack for Dallas Turner. No picks on the game. I wanted to look at receiving. Goodwin goes for 99. Jay Jets goes for 90. Overall, that's pretty solid. Damn, Dev. All right, let's move on to week five, chat. We're chilling. Play Madden or CFB more? Probably CFB more. Probably CFB more. I am going to be playing Madden, though. I'm probably going to, like, split time between them. How bad is it? Lots of people trashing it. I mean, people are always going to trash Madden, no matter what. Like, it doesn't matter if Madden made the best game that they ever made. People are going to hate on it just because it's EA. It's the same with 2K. Like, 2K could give us, like, a generational 2K, and people would still say it's shit. So. Yep, Steve. I think it, I think it feels pretty good. Like, if, if you didn't like Madden 24's gameplay... You're going to struggle with this game because it feels pretty similar. Although there are some changes. Like, the players definitely feel weightier. Um, it feels like your movement matters a lot more, which is cool. But like, I, d I don't have any big issues with it right now. Like, I, I, I posted a tweet about this earlier today. I feel like if people only play these games online, they hate them. Like, it's the same with MLB The Show. If you only play MLB The Show online, you're going to hate it. If you jump into, like, an offline dynasty or an offline franchise in Madden or EA College Football, you're going to enjoy the game a lot more. I already had to go more, Trevor. What's up, baller? Coach, we're five weeks in. Do you feel like you have a solid idea of how good your team is this season? I mean, we're 3-1. and one. It's kind of hard to say. It's hard to tell in the NFL, but I, I feel like I have a pretty good sense of it. If you had to look into the future, how many wins do you think this team can finish with? I'm going to go eight to nine. I'm going to go eight to nine. Nothing wrong with that, Dev. Can I get this 40 yard dash down? There you go. Yeah, the superstar mode with the da the 40 yard dash and like the uh, bench press and that kind of stuff is, is pretty brutal. Your team will earn a thousand XP and you'll earn five staff points. All right, that's not a whole lot, but it could be worse. All right, big game at the Jet or with the Jets coming to Minnesota. I think we're gonna wear our all whites again because those those jerseys are absolutely elite. Seven and ten real life. I don't think that's crazy. I think seven and ten makes a lot of sense for them. Defensively, we're gonna keep throwing it short. It's been working so far with JJ McCarthy. That's what we're looking to do, man. That's what we're looking to do. We're gonna look for two plus passing touchdowns, then we're gonna start the training. How's the wife been? Wife's been good. Oh, for sure, Steve. I love it. I love it. Kenneth Walker. Dude, I would love to get Kenneth Walker in this franchise. Got some upgrades. Who gets upgraded? Show me JJ McCarthy. Let's go. Give me field general, baby. Up to a 74 overall. Started at a 71. Plus three for JJ McCarthy. Plus one throw accuracy deep. Plus one throw accuracy mid. Plus one throw accuracy short. Plus one throw on the run. Love to see that. Uh, I have not. I did watch quarterback. I haven't watched receiver yet, though. Trent Sheffield. We'll go ahead and give him deep threat. That's fine. Do you ever host an online franchise? That would be fun. It would be fun. I just don't know if, the, if I have the time to do it. That's what I always run into anytime anyone asks me about online franchises or online dynasty. Is it better than CFB? I can't answer that, man. It's a different game. It's a different game than CFB. Like... 
it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for more of a defensive game, more like weighty, more realistic feeling, then you're probably going to enjoy Madden more. If you're looking for a game that's a little bit more arcadey, a little bit more wide open, a little bit more like speed based, then you're probably going to love EA College Football. Like they're they're just way way different games. It's almost hard to hard to uh, compare the two. How are you playing? It's out. Early release has it out. Current color rush. Those all whites, dude. The Winter Warrior whites are fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and give the Jets their. I wanna wear their blacks? Let's wear their alternates. All black versus all white. That's a sick uniform matchup. Let's get it. You a Vikes fan? No, I'm a Steelers fan. I just thought the Vikings were a fun roster to play with. It's week five of the 2024 season. We're you cannot, Jardot, but you can bring your Road to Glory player over to Superstar Vikings. mode. But. And it comes your way next. All right, J.J. McCarthy's played very, very well for us so far. Dallas Turner's been very, very good. Looks like he might be double-digit sack haver his rookie year. Bull, baby. All right, Robert Sala, Bubba Dugnut. Here we go. Mike Tirico and Greg Olson again on the call. So far, they've been my favorite of the three commentary teams they have in this game. Vikings new white jerseys are sick. Facts. Yep, Kevin, rocking the yard goats. We're rocking the the Seahawks throwback, so it made sense for me to wear the yard goats hat today. Hey, no way. Thank you for that. Big third down. Let's see if we can get the stop on Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets. Got to stop Garrett Wilson. Brees Hall, obviously very very good as well. The pre-snap movement on defense looks so freaking good. Every time I see it, I just gush over it. Oh, I just bit so hard. Damn, I picked wrong there. Let Rucker get over the middle legitimately because my middle linebacker went over on the crosser instead of staying, staying set for the uh, tight ends. Gavin, we're playing a Vikings franchise. Oh, huge tackle. That's not a play you can make in EA College football, by the way. How do you like Madden? I'm enjoying it a lot. Now, that's not me shitting on EA College football. I'm enjoying that game a lot, too. But, like, these games just play differently, man. They just do. Oh, wow. I bit so hard on the play action. Made the tackle. Let's go. Damn, we just lit up Brees Hall there on play action. That's crazy. Oh, wow. That's wide open. Tough. Is Joe Buck in the game? He is not. So a rebuild? Yes. How do you like Madden? It's been fun. It's been fun. I'm enjoying it so far. All right, third down alert here. It's a third and three, which should be like a fairly easy conversion here. We'll see if we can go wide receiver under. That should be Jay Jettis. Got Naylor, Sherfield, Jettis, and Hawkinson. Huge. Jettis stays on his feet. Let's go, Justin. Converts, and now we're in the red zone. Doing a commies rebuild? The commander is sick, man. You do a Panthers rebuild? I almost did the Panthers for this. I left it up to my Twitter to vote on. And people wanted to see the Vikings, but the Panthers were one of the options. Kyrie Jackson in the game? Nah, Kyrie Jackson was not in the base rosters, no. The presentation is much improved. I agree. The presentation looks pretty solid in this game. Motion wide receiver screen. Oh, it's to the running back, too. I'm kind of curious to see if this works. It's a weird play design. Yo, that's a sick play. Wait a second. Yo, that play is sick. That was a really sick play. That blocked up so well. Download it right now. Can't believe you didn't know, bro. I'm telling you. A lot of people don't know. People have been so locked in on EA College Football, they had no idea that Madden was dropping. Dude, that was a cool. That was a cool play design. Big fan of that play design, man. No, I was there. I just didn't fall back deep enough. That's brutal. I tried Dolphins playbook. Oh, I'm sure they have all sorts of crazy motions. All right, third and nine. Let's go ahead and blitz and force him to get the ball out of his hands quick. Working out of the gun, it's 
He's able to convert. That's brutal. Brutal. Laminate, thank you for that follow. I don't know if I said that already, but if not, thanks. Shotgun, it's a Quick After the catch, he gets that I don't really know what to do to stop them right now. I kind of feel like they have my number. I'm going to go ahead and pinch if, just in case we need to stop the run here. We do flow over the top. Good job there. Third and four. Invert hard flat. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Looking to throw. No. Oh, knock it out. Damn it. Run an ultimate team right now. It's pretty fun. I've just never been an, uh, an ultimate team guy. Damn, that's brutal. I saw that. I saw that. Read it. Just couldn't knock it out. Can't flow over the top on that. And the Jets are going to take a 14-7 to lead. How do you like Madden? It's been fun so far. It's been fun. It's a nice change of pace. Was very disappointed. What's your issue with Madden? Good dump off on the screen. Damn, jukes. The, the like, turbo jukes juke a long way in this game. And their NCAA, they're such different games, it's hard to say, man. I've been saying that every time someone comes in and asks me. Like, realistically, it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for, like, a really, uh, a more realistic, like, grounded game, you're going to enjoy Madden a lot. If you're looking for a little bit more arcade style, like, where it's really offense heavy and it's really open and speed matters a lot you're really going to enjoy ncaa they're just different they're different feels jj mccarthy off to the races it's just too slow i could understand that like i said it's a different style game so i could understand why someone would think that this game just feels too slow after playing the other games right, they back off here so maybe in a cover four hmm. To throw, it's McCarthy. Good ball. Can I do a Panthers rebuild? That's sick. That's sick. And I will say, like I do, like I've I've mentioned a couple of times, I like um, recruiting way more than I like scouting and drafting. To throw is McCarthy. Good comeback. Oh my God, that was almost a pick. I threw that a little bit too early. Threw that a little bit too early. I think J.J. is at pick 8 out of 10. Thoughts? I don't think that that would be a bad call. Let's see if we can get Hawkinson on the out here. You should be able to cook that linebacker he's on. Nope, clear in zone. Dump it off to the running back. Get the first down. Fourth and one from the with 44 seconds to go. I'm going to go for this, dude. I'm going to go gun, and I'm going to trust I can get one yard. In the goal, at goal line. I mean, taking your points is important in the NFL, but... I'm just going to trust my my offensive line to get generate enough push for me to get one yard. And they do. Aaron Jones is able to take it down to the three-yard line. Now we need to start taking some time off the clock. I want that arrow route, dude. This arrow route Z spot is disgusting out of bunch. Especially when they bunch up like this. This is like damn near a guaranteed touchdown. Yeah, bro. That's such a nasty play. That play is so gross at the goal line. The Jets are good, man. Do a franchise league? I've thought about it. Jalen Naylor is going to get a bunch of touchdowns just because he's he's the 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 uh, the arrow guy in that. When Jordan Addison comes back, I need to make sure he's that position because I could just give him a lot of bullshit touchdowns just by dumping him the ball in goal line situations. Hawkinson able to flow there. Lower your shoulder, my guy. Lower your shoulder. What season are you? Year one. Yeah, this is year one. All right, should be able to walk in here with Aaron Jones. Looks like it should block up pretty easily. Nope, just kidding. Jesus Christ. Left guard, what are you doing? Hello? How does that even happen? It's inside zone. Why are you not just blocking the dude straight in front of you? Is it because I didn't ID the mic? That might have been my fault. That might have been my fault. You play offense and defense? It's the Vikings for you? I mean, gee, Willikers, man. Uh, no, I am playing play the moment. So technically, I guess I do play both offense and defense, but I'm not playing like full games. 
Step up. JJ McCarthy, nice little tutter. Love it. He's your favorite player of all time? Uh, Troy Paul Mahler is definitely up there as a Steeler fan. I would also say Le'Veon Bell. Like, prime Steelers Le'Veon Bell is probably the most fun I've had watching Steelers football. He was so good, dude. He was so good. I wish he would have stayed his whole career in Pittsburgh. I really do. All right, defense needs to stop in the fourth quarter down at the seven-yard line. If I could hold them to three here, that'd be huge. Go ahead and move the defense over if they're running it. Oh, no. Back. Good job. Let's go. Prime Odell and Josh Norman. Oh, I'm sure. Those battles were crazy. Man released early release. Yep. Those play action. Make that play. Oh, Dallas Turner, dude. Dallas Turner being surprisingly good in coverage in this game. It's actually kind of nuts. Let's go ahead and run some cover, too. Rodgers. Make that tackle. Yes, sir. Fourth and goal. They go for this here. They are going to go for it. I think I'm going to go hard flat. Cover three hard flat here. Need one more stop here defensively. Make the play. Hook curl. This is on you, Osamoa. Nope. Tough. I respect that, Dev. Pretty graphics are really good. It does look good pretty graphically. I will still say, I think that EA College Football looks better graphically. For sure. But this game looks solid graphically. I'm not going to hate on it by any means. Prime players that were insane. insane. Both were insane. Bell and Brown. Yeah, it's unfortunate that their defense was so bad at that time. All because of Ryan Shazier getting hurt. Damn, that was a third and ten that I just tried to dump off a screen. I thought that that was like a play all drive. All right, def or offense is able to score on the next drive there. So it doesn't really matter all that much. We're going to go ahead and blitz here so we can get some sort of pass rush then bounce out let's go use your pick as bangle would say easy reads hop on pop that's sick Hawaiian. let's go what a play chat that is true dev just absolutely baited aaron Rodgers on the fake blitz got back over the top and was able to make the make the play on the the crossing route now let's see if we can hold the lead here. Big play, big play. Time to hold the lead. Skull, baby. This would make the Vikings 4-1 and one on the season. I did not expect this first season to go this well, if I'm being honest. I expected this to be way more of a battle. But we're playing on all Madden and just, just cruising right now. Honestly, I will say one thing I 100% believe. All Madden, so much easier than Heisman. Oh my god. Playing, playing EA College Football on the highest difficulty and playing this game on the highest difficulty, it's like, it's night and day, dude. Get my cousin Kamu some playing time. Oh my god, I think I might have cut him in the offseason. Oh no. Ooh, cut back. Although, actually, I think he's on my practice squad, if I remember right. Nah, hold on, hold on. What does he play again? So glad I ain't by Madden. Why? It's fun, man. Linebacker. That's right. Bro, I think I might have actually legitimately just cut him going into this week because I had to make a cut. Oh, no. Oh, my God, I did. He was the linebacker that I literally just cut. Because I had an injury. <laughs> oh no, that's so brutal. What difficulty is harder? Uh, all, all, or Heisman is significantly harder than all Madden. Like, significantly harder. TJ Hawkinson able to get into the open field. That's huge. That's a first down. Jets down to their final timeout. Let's go ahead and run this out. Do you like the new commentators? I do. They didn't detail quarterbacks? Yeah, that's fair. There are some things that I still need changed in EA College Football. Being able to change players' numbers is, like, a big thing. Obviously, we want changed. Um, but overall, like, I, I think the EA College Football, they did a good job on that game. There's definitely, like, I also wish we had, like, a trophy room for Dynasty. That's just a nitpicky thing, though. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how they did it. 
A bomb over the top with fast receivers. Yeah, but you have to play defense. That's the issue. Like, if you're only playing offense, Heisman isn't that bad. But playing defense on Heisman is legitimately, like, soul-crushingly difficult. Defense cook, you're right? Yeah. So if you're, if you're just playing offense, like, like, yeah, it's not that bad. That's how I ended up winning a natty at Ball State. But, like, now I'm having to play all defense. And it, dude, it's tough. Going to year nine. Playing nine years in the NFL is legitimately crazy. Even if you, like, kind of are, are a career backup or whatever, like, playing nine years in the NFL is nice. All right, chat. We're going to go ahead and be able to take a knee here. I do wish they would have brought over the fact the fact that you don't have to call another play when the game is mathematically over and you're taking knees. Those jer they're so good, Slump. The, the all-whites, the, the winter, winter Warrior jerseys, they're so good. Twitter stream looks clean. It should be exactly what you're seeing on... Uh, on Twitch, which is cool. And there it is, chat. 28-21. That makes the Vikings 4-1 and one on the season with another huge win. J.J. McCarthy looked very, very good. Defense stood up when they needed to. Big turnovers. True, Porter. Got one IRL of Jefferson. That's sick. I would do that, too, if I was a Vikings fan, honestly. All right, let's go ahead and see what J.J. ended up with. He goes 286 yards, three touchdowns, zero picks. I might have turned J.J. McCarthy into an actual animal. I'm kind of curious to see through five five games what his actual stats are. Jefferson goes for 84, no touchdowns. Garrett Wilson has 97. Uh, defensively, Dallas Turner with another sack. Ivan Pace and Makai Blackman both get picks. Very good game, man. Very good game. Robert Sala, yeah, Robert Sala's face game actually looks really solid. Have the NFL logo on the 50. That actually legitimately could have been an, a uh, a European game. I guess I didn't pay attention at all to that. Was that? That could have been in Europe. Kai Blackman will go ahead and give him zone. I probably should have went man-to-man -man there, if I'm being honest. Turner Depoy, dude. It was a London game? Makes sense. Makes sense. I was wondering why I didn't notice or didn't recognize the stadium. One new injury. Who got hurt? Jordan Addison will be back next week. That's huge. Jaqueline Roy, 65 overall, tears his labrum. Marquise Goodwin being out for five is pretty brutal, too. All right, so let's go ahead and advance the week and then go look at our stats because we are on the bye week now, week six. So I'm kind of curious to see what, like, what the team's looking like right now. Like not having a crazy year with Aaron Jones. He's not really running the ball that well. Tottenham Hotspur? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That's... J.J. McCarthy, not bad, dude. Through five games, 1,200 yards, seven touchdowns, two picks, 72% completion, 240 yards per game, 110 passer rating. Very good. Also has 200 yards rushing, which is solid in six touchdowns. So he's accounted for 13 touchdowns so far this season. Aaron Jones has 330 yards through five games, three touchdowns. Uh, Jay Jettis has 350 with a touchdown. Need to start getting him the ball more. Is it better than CFB? You can't say one's better than the other, in my opinion, man. In my opinion, they're really, really different games. Bucko fan, thank you for that follow. Like, if you want more of, like, a grounded, realistic feeling game, then Madden's probably going to be the game that you enjoy. If you want, like, a more open, arcadey game then you're going to enjoy EA College football more. Do you sim every game? No, uh, I'm playing the moments. I'm playing the moments. I want to try to get kind of deep into this franchise before we start our team builder franchise. Dallas Turner, all the way up to an 81 overall already is nuts. Plus two finesse moves, plus one man coverage, plus one play rec, plus one power moves, plus one tackle is clutch. Only a star development, which is kind of interesting. You get the 65 flowers. I do not know what you're talking about, so probably not. Oh, the roses. Yes, Gavin. I appreciate those roses. Sorry. TikTok does a really, really bad idea, bad job of showing me gifts. It makes me feel bad because I never say anything when someone gives me gifts, but it's just because they don't show me. Did I lock in my my national scouting? Isn't that supposed to be like this week? Oh, it's week eight. All right, so next week we're going to go after corners. We need corners. That's important. 
No, you're good, Gavin. I appreciate that. I wish you would show me, though. What sliders do you use? I'm using all Madden default right now, Sean. Still trying to play it out. Like, it's kind of too early to know what sliders work in this game. All right, got a press conference week seven chat. Let's see what the uh, what the media wants to ask me about. I'd like to get your take on how successful your play calling has been this season. I mean, it's been great, dude. Greatest play calling in the league. Which stat are we talking about? How many passing yards your defense gives up? I mean, that hasn't been great. We have to be higher than that. There's no way we're lower than 200%. I just got cooked. I did, Dom. How's the game so far? Be honest. I'm enjoying it, man. I'm enjoying it. Damn, I just got actually cooked by the reporter. Just got set up to fail. He's like, bro, do you know your team? Obviously not, you fucking moron. That's crazy. We're going to go deep pass against uh, Jared Goff. They throw the ball deep a lot in this game. So, okay, we'll go throw it short for us. Keep JJ McCarthy. Keep things in front of him. Be smart with the ball. Been working so well. Need some more, some milk? Yeah. How do you become a mod on TikTok? Uh, I don't know. I don't generally give out mod that often on TikTok, but I might need to start doing it more. Just like being around, seeing you a lot is generally... What's up, Eli? Go Seahawks. Respect it. I love your guys' throwbacks. I really do. All right, chat. Another game against the Lions. They are also 4-1. 84 overall, 88 offense, 80 defense against the 85 overall Vikings, 87 offense, 83 defense. Play the moments. Jealous I want that jersey. Dude, what, do we have injuries at D-tackle right now? Seriously? Brutal. All right, got to pick someone up on free agency. Uh, can I put that dude on injured reserve to make that happen? Injured reserve is, is it eight weeks or is it four weeks now? It's four weeks, isn't it? Nope, not managed team. Imagine being a mod, right? No way. Am I stupid? Isn't it on managed roster? Right? Where's medical? Oh, injury report. There we go. Torn labrum and dislocated ankle. Oh, we are getting Jordan Addison back this week, though, chat. You love to see that. You really do. So, yeah, going to just have to go pick up a defensive tackle. That is unfortunate because I, I don't really have space on my roster for this. Is there anyone young? Someone that's, like, crazy, crazy young? Justin Rogers, 22, 22 years old, 6'3", 322. He's perfect for what we're looking for here. Go ahead and sign him to the active roster. Do I, I have to cut someone to make that happen, don't I? Twitch, stupid. Probably should cut a... And I, I'm really hurting here. I guess I could cut Kenne. Andrew Booth could also fifth. I, I need five corners and I th need three outside linebackers, especially with a 23 year old. I don't need four running backs. So even though he has 94 speed, 95 acceleration, I guess who's our third running back? Miles Gaskin, 27 years old, three overall better. Ty Chandler's 26. Yeah, it's got to be Kenne. Sorry, dude, Edge. I mean, it's the only person that made sense to get rid of there. I do want to, before I jump into the next game, I do kind of want to go turn on a uh, a formation sub real quick. Because that, that I need to get Jordan Addison in that, uh, the single back position. The single back bunch. The bunch X nasty that we run that play out of. Yeah, it is. I need to get Jordan Addison in that bunch slot right here. TJ Hawkinson. So is he the error route in that situation? I mean, it it hasn't been him though. It's been 
It's been Jalen Naylor. So let's go ahead and throw Addison. Trent Sherfield, throw Jordan Addison there. And then show Brandon Powell there. I'm here for that. All right, cool. I already have 420k in mud. No, you love to see that, Hawk. Let's go, Skull. What's up, stupid? Welcome in. Welcome in. All right, chat. Week five against the Detroit Lions. Back at home for another one. Four and one this season, man. Two four and one teams playing against each other right now. Amon St. Brown is a, a superstar X Factor, huh? Penny Sewell, superstar. Frank Rag now a superstar. Interesting. Amon's good. I just don't think of him as a superstar X Factor player. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we're going to look at J.J. McCarthy. He's going to have to air it out plenty this week. It's the Vikings and the Lions. All that and more coming up next on EA Madden feels so weird. Yeah, if you've been playing EA College Football for a bit, Madden's going to feel way, way, Spread way different than what you're used to, man. That sounds good, Kevin. Damn, cookies actually sound bomb. I have a big sweet tooth right now. Big old sweet tooth. I don't really have anything sweet in my house currently. All right, down seven, nothing. Third and three from the 29. Need to keep this drive alive. We're going to go stick here. Maybe we can hit the outside Hawkinson here. Actually, kind of looks like that might be wide open. I don't mind Justin Jefferson. Maybe I can throw him on a slant or try to put that guy into conflict. Stick him with a pass. Here's McCarthy. Got a baby Hawk. JJ McCarthy, 60 yards so far in this game in the first, first quarter, which you absolutely love to see. I need to start hitting these arrow routes, dude. These arrow routes are actually nasty in this game. Jordan Aston looks like he's going to come over the middle. Probably could hit the drag here. Hit the arrow. Love it. How's JJ been for you? He's been really good. He has 13 total touchdowns, two picks, and 1,100 yards, or 1,200 yards passing, and 200 yards rushing through five games. So he's been really good. It is a Ken Flocker jersey, Nick. I'm a Steeler fan, but, like, I live in Montana, and I love Kenneth Walker. I really do. Is Madden any good this year? I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so far. It feels like it's a little bit too early for me to make, like, real statements about how, how good it is. But, like, I am enjoying playing it. Like, there's nothing that I've been playing so far that I'm like, damn, this is ass. Not in a hard flat. Go ahead and get it out to Aaron Jones. He breaks the tackle, and he's able to score the touchdown. Huge broken tackle. At like the five yard line there, Aaron Jones is able to sneak in and JJ McCarthy gets another passing touchdown on the season. He's been remarkably good in his rookie campaign. A pretty big early test for the defense coming up. It's nice to be able to play defense too. That's the other thing from EA College Football. Like I don't feel like I'm overmatched here. I can play defensively. Uh, yes, Nick, they added a bunch of like quests to upgrade your player. And like, uh, so like if you're, if you're a certain archetype, you have like certain quests based on that archetype. Pretty cool. Why are you the Vikings? Uh, because I like their roster and it seems like kind of a fun short rebuild until Team Builder comes out and we can build our Team Builder team. All right, third and 16. Just go ahead and defend the sticks here. Rally. Good tackle. All right, they're going to get three here. D or offense back into the the uh goal line that's actually crazy is addison the no it's naylor again god damn it naylor is just getting all of these bullshit arrow touchdown passes here because he ends up in the the arrow route on that bunch formation feels low for you you can press up and down on the d-pad to change the uh the different camera angles gets to the fullback cam that's a tutter jj jj any new modes this year uh there is a solo seasons mode in mutt if that's your thing it's basically an offline seasons mode which is kind of cool offline modes as far as they go like now it's still mostly just franchise and superstar yeah he's man 25 gameplay good i'm enjoying it so far it's i'm, I'm enjoying it a lot man so here's the situation TJ's one of the best fullbacks of all time. CJ Ham's a stud, dude. Absolute stud. Oh, I bit so hard there. And that's just a brutal job by our defense. I don't know how that many people came open there, but I need to reassign the players in the formation. I did. That's what I did before this game. 
It just didn't matter, apparently. It must be reset based on my depth chart. Add a baby. Phillips gets his second sack of the day. Jared Goff taken down in the backfield. For Dallas Turner. I'd much prefer Dallas Turner rushing the passer in this situation, if I'm being honest. Yeah, defense feels way better on this game than EA College football. I mean, it's not that EA College football defense is bad. It's just so hard. It's just so hard, bro. Pace, Pace is a stud in this game, dude. He's been really, really good for me so far. Throws it away? Hell yeah. Way to hold them to three again, defense. Doing your job. Also, hey, fun fact, uh, you want to turn off roughing the kicker in this game as well. Just just a heads up. Uh, I'm not supposed to be JX, but I have a lot of injuries in my wide receiver core right now. So, kind of struggling, kind of struggling. Have you been one to switch stick master yet? No, I, I basically don't use the switch stick. I'm terrible at it, man. I just can't get the, the feel of it. Aaron Jones, go ahead. Power, dude. I just trucked the shit out of that corner. Can we can we watch the replay on this, please? I just set that dude to the shadow realm. Aaron Jones, my guy, that dude had a family. Hello? Who was that out there? The 23? I don't know who this is. I can't I can't read the, the back of his jersey. Davis the third. That name does not register for me right now. But man, holy shit, he just had a really, really bad time there at the goal line. Carlton Davis? Charleston Charlton Davis. Yes, that is correct, actually. He tried to beat Aaron Jones at the, the goal line. Bang. Aaron, like, Aaron Jones legitimately, like, launched into him, bro. He didn't even stay grounded on this truck. He was like, what if I just launch my full body at you? Just freaking speared him. Out here, acknowledge your tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Bang. How are the Viking cornerbacks? They're bad, but I brought in Stefan Gilmore. Yeah, brought in Stefan Gilmore, like they're reportedly potentially doing in real life. How do you make them lines of the zone show when pl play is going on? Uh, stupid, I think it's based on what you have, like, your, your help settings set to. Remember Reigns mentioned? <laughs> Acknowledge your tribal chief. Don't get enough credit. That's facts. Aaron Jones is going to be pretty good in that offense this year, man. For sure, for sure. Enjoy the franchise. Yeah. Now, the Vikings are a fun... Like, it's this is a fun time to be a Vikings fan for franchise, dude. A lot of really, really fun young players. Hey, Donut, thank you for that prime game. You much appreciate my guy. Am I going to switch over to the tight end? No. Mir Gibbs. He had me cooked. I'm uh, probably just going to do a set amount of years, JX. I I'm doing a... My longer-term dynasty is going to be a team-builder dynasty. I'm bringing a professional sports team to my, my state of Montana. But I just have to wait for team-builder to drop. So hopefully we can get a couple years into this di or this franchise before it's time to move on. Skull, baby. Skull. Yeah, this is Madden, dude. Madden 25. It's actually pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. Keeping, keeping it a buck. It feels like also the CPU is not nearly as aggressive in this game as they are on uh, at EA College Football. On EA College Football, bad quarterbacks are out here trying to put 450 yards on me every game, bro. They see press, they're going deep. Four sacks for you, D-Roy? I think it's possible. You Grizz or Cats fan? Grizz all day, baby. I went to the University of Montana for seven years. Best believe I'm a Grizz fan. Can you give me any moments? JJ McCarthy's cooking. I changed over to the Bengals playbook and he's actually playing out of his mind. In case you guys are wondering, playbooks have a massive, massive impact on whether or not you perform well in this game. Um, 
like they have in Madden for the last handful of years. And the Bengals' playbook is so nasty for quarterbacks. The Bengals and the Chiefs just absolutely destroy. Who is it, Jimmy? Are you Western Carolina, Missouri State, North Dakota? What What overall is JJ right now? 75. Looking to throw McCarthy. Good ball. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Oliver. Oh, North Dakota. Nice. Yeah, we'll play uh, North Dakota week two. I have to head to your guys' place. How's the game? I'm enjoying it, man. I'm enjoying it. You can change commentary. There's three commentary teams in this game. Uh, it's uh, it's like automatically done when you load into the game. Like it's random. The game feels slower. It is way slower. It is way slower. This game is uh, way way slower than you college football. It's just how it goes. All right, got Addison on the cross here. See if we can get him. Looks like they're gonna cover three. They are gonna blitz. We're gonna hit Addison on the cross, or that's gonna be a touchdown. Add a baby Jordan. William Zach hit the hydrate for you Aiden all right 35 16 bro this Vikings team is legit I'm playing I'm playing this on all mad too this is crazy we're taking it to people right now oh buddy you got to pick that was a pick six base I'm gonna need you to come through my guy that was a pick six if I can oh dude they have a formation with Jay Jettis in the backfield hello Please give me half a second to throw this football. McCarthy, he'll set to throw it. That was just a god off the ball. Okay. The ultimate team for any squads game modes. That's true. That continue road to glory. I know. I need to play my UNLV road to glory, especially now that you can bring it over on Superstar. Maybe the next couple of streams will play road to the glory. Prefer this though, because your team can actually tackle. That's what I'm saying, dude. Defense is way easier on this game than it is on EA College football way easier it doesn't even fill in, the, fill in the same realm of closeness all right this should be a pretty easy conversion with jay jettis underneath nice little runoff dude that's a guaranteed first down that's such a nasty 380 and five touchdowns for jj mccarthy on 37 to 47 throwing. oh buddy oh buddy we can annoy a new mvp this this kid's about to be about to be a freak is this deluxe? It is. Now McCarthy. Flush to right away. Toward the pylon, but it's in hand off merchant facts. Not hand off merchant in this game, bro. Oh, that's McCarthy crazy. These arrow routes are so nasty at the goal line. They're actually crazy. Is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter? He's got it. Touchdown. Game's out. Game's out, Harley. It is early access right now, yeah. Dude, this is... I, I just fucking took it to the Lions. This is crazy. I can't wait to see the stats after this. Hands team? Is it worth it or same game? I mean, it feels pretty similar to M or Madden 24 as far as the uh, gameplay goes. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I like Madden 24's gameplay a lot. It feels a lot more fluid. It feels... The movement feels very good in this game from what I've played so far. Uh, the blocking feels pretty good, especially running the football. The big changes, the dynasty, I think, are sick. So. We'll do, JX. Supposed to come out till tomorrow. Technically, it was tonight at midnight, Aiden, but it's tonight, midnight, like, um, Greenwich Mean Time. Find college football? I love college football, man. Does it feel like NCAA? Not at all. They feel like way, way, way different games. Madden feels a lot more, like, weighted and realistic. And like every player feels weighty. In EA college football, it feels way more arcadey and wide open and speed based. Not saying necessarily one's better than the other, but they're just significantly different feeling. There you go, Sacristi. 38 of 49, 382 yards, six touchdowns for JJ McCarthy. Goff also goes for 374 and two touchdowns, but we don't need to talk about that. 45 yards rushing for Aaron Jones, 20 for JJ McCarthy. What did. Th receiving where do we go jay jettis goes for 96 aaron jones goes for 90 addison goes for 82 three touchdowns for aaron jones one for addison and then defensively any sacks two for van ginkle two for phillips none for our guy dallas turner turner in that game it's true pop yep 100 percent true papa bless
Yeah, I mean, EA College Football just plays significantly more um, arcade than Madden does. And like I said, I don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing. It's just different. JJ McCarthy gets another upgrade, chat. Keep that go boy going. Up to a 70, still 75 overall, though. Gets plus one play action, plus one throw accuracy deep, plus one short, plus one throw on the run, plus one throw, pressure, throw under pressure. You love to see it. And Josh Oliver gets an upgrade as well. We'll keep him going possession. That's fine. I'm really enjoying this game, man. I really am. Just football games feel so good. I can't wait until 2K comes out, man. You guys can watch me absolutely be god-awful trying to play the park. What's up, Gavin? Like, oh, I agree, Papa. And it feels like you can jump on either of the games and have a good time because they're so different. Like, I really, I, I, that, it just feels good that, like, I can pl play different games if I'm feeling different things. And plus, like, Franchise and Dynasty also feel different because Dynasty, you're constantly getting new players and your team's changing every, every four years. And in Franchise, you like focusing on drafting and you can have a team for a much longer time. So, I don't know. Just feels substantially different. All right. The Rams are five and one against the Minnesota Vikings, five and one. We're going to go play at SoFi. Low key, SoFi is probably the coolest NFL stadium that I've ever been to. I went and watched the Steelers play in SoFi last year. Shit was nasty. It was so good. All right. Let's go ahead and defend. Hey, Untouchable. Thank you for that raid. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah. SoFi is cool. SoFi is really, really cool. Big fan of it. I don't like how they did superstar mode what do you mean jacob got room for you i mean mike i'm gonna be playing it a lot so I'm, I'm definitely down i need to find some people to run with i think for park i'm gonna make a uh a three and d small forward i've just never been a very good ball carrier so i just like a slashing a slashing three-way or three three-way score or something like that um and then for my rec i'm gonna do a center build probably like a seven one center build with a little bit of shooting have you been to U.S. Bank? I haven't, but I do want to go to U.S. Bank. Really, really bad. Jalen Naylor. Should have went deep threat instead of playmaker there. Oh, I need to go dump some, some uh, head coaching points, chat. Hopefully we can get some more players to be able to upgrade, like, our, our uh, what's it called? Like, weekly, our weekly players. Lucas Oil one day? I would come to Lucas Oil for sure. I don't think there's like very many NFL stadiums that I wouldn't want to go to. Definitely don't want to go to Cleveland. I mean, to be fair, if I'm a, like, as a big Steeler fan, I don't really want to go to any of the stadiums where like big rivalries are. NFL, NFL fans are fucking volatile, dude. Like you'll get punched in the face way quicker in the NFL, in an NFL stadium than you will anywhere else. Let's go, Papa Bless. That's sick. Don't come to MetLife? Yeah. I mean, I could understand that. I could understand that. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I don't want to really go to Baltimore. I don't really want to go to Cincy. I don't really want to go to Cleveland. That's just going to get me punched in the face and heckled. Where if, whereas if you go to, like, an opposing team stadium in, like, a baseball game, no one talks shit at all. I got the shit heckled out of me in Seattle, but it was all fun and games. Like, those, those guys were just messing around. In, like, Cincinnati, Cleveland, and Baltimore, I'd be legitimately worried that someone was trying to start shit. Don't come to Lambeau? Nah, Lambeau has to be all right. I, I don't fear people from the Midwest, bro. And it's not a fear thing. It's just, like, I live in the Midwest, right? All right, another commentary team here. Kate Scott, Brock Heward. No one cares about the Dolphins, though. That's the thing. I wouldn't be scared about going to Miami because no, no one actually goes to those games. Thursday night game, too. Is franchise better now? I enjoy franchise. I think the changes they've made to franchise this year seem pretty pretty decent. I haven't made it to the draft yet, which is one of the big changes they made for franchise. So I'm kind of curious to see how that plays out. All right, first and 10, we're going to go ahead and hit that wide receiver under. This play is so disgusting if you get the ball out of your hands quick. Like, it's, it's almost guaranteed five yards for Justin Jefferson every single time you throw it. It's kind of crazy. Uh, 
it'll be all Steeler fans. That's what I hear every time it, the Steelers go to Jacksonville. It's always just, always a crazy amount of fans. Dude, this play is so disgusting, dude. That like that motion halfback screen where he's split out and then comes back in and motions out. That's nuts. Can I get a quick out here? Jordan Addison, love it. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nipple passing. All right, let's see if we can get Aaron Jones a touchdown here. Good cut. Walk in. Love it. Hey, that's a late hit, my guy. Yeah, SoFi is a cool stadium, man. I sat in the second deck for the Steelers game that we went to, and it was uh, it was beautiful. That stadium was just so, so well done. All the vending's really cool. The shitty part is it's in the ghetto in L.A., bro. You are straight straight up in, in Inglewood. Like, you walk two, two feet away from the stadium, and there's, like, bars on every window. Shit's nuts. Straight in Inglewood. Like, we went walking after the game to try to get away from the stadium a little bit so we could get an Uber. Would not recommend it. What do you got against it? Bro, it's it's sketch down there. I'm sorry, man. I love L.A. Don't get me wrong. I go to L.A. all the time. I go to Anaheim and Disneyland constantly. You're six games in the season? I am. I am. JF, that's what I'm saying, bro. That is a nuts feeling, no way. I respect it, though. I respect it. Man of man of uh, differing abilities. Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup being on the same field at the same time feels not fair. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm playing the moments. We're playing the moments on this franchise because we're going to do a full franchise, uh, a team builder franchise when it's time for that. Damn, did we just force them to false start there, too? It's like fucking third and 21 right now. You'll be all right. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, Anaheim is technically a different city, but it's a suburb of L.A., right? Like, I still consider that L.A., even though it's a different city. It's an O.C., but... Oh, I just got absolutely banged deep. Make a play, please. Oh, my God. 2-2 Atwell hurts. That is unfortunate. Oh my god, we're tw down 21 nothing Or 21-7. Viking game is unlike any other. I'm sure it'd be sick. Viking game would be a cool one to go to for sure. Alright, able to get the first down to Oliver here. Need to score a touchdown. 138-0 touchdowns, one pick. JJ McCarthy's definitely showing his, his rookie issues in this game. Game looks the same as last year. I mean, it is. It's not like we ever expect huge innovation in sports games. As long as they can keep making solid gameplay, got to be okay with it. And honestly, I thought the gameplay last year in Madden 24 was, was solid. And the additions they brought in this year, being able to like slide protect or add, add more protection ability and making some of the changes to physics makes the game feel a little bit more real. But yeah, I mean it's gonna it's gonna be pretty similar year to year. That's what happens when you have a year a year to year development cycle. Is Blake Snell going off again? All right, let's see if we can get like a. I don't want halfback draw. I want an inside zone. Ten Ks, damn, he's killing it. Blake Snell just took a little bit to get like warmed up. Missing missing spring training seemed to have hurt him a, a fair amount. Ooh, chance to tie the game here, Jet. Before halftime, damn, this game is high scoring. It's actually crazy. Jordan Addison on the deep out. I kind of like that call here. If I can have time to throw it. Oh, that's money. Good ball. Got a baby JJ. Facts, Ryan. Updated rosters and small new features. Exactly. I think the changes, the changes they made to franchise mode with the draft and that kind of stuff alone made this game worth the price. If I'm being real. Do I hit, try to hit the error route? Oh, how do I not score on that? 
That's crazy. All right, 29 seconds left. Hit that little arrow route out of single back. Sorry, Rams defense this week. Sorry, bro. We're here to win win games. I need to get this ball out quick. Step up. Had a baby JJ. It's early access. Early access. The game did launch for early access, though, against the Braves. Damn, the Braves are down so bad right now. Bro, the Braves are, man, they're brutal. Just absolutely brutal. They step up there. A oh, man, a woman announcer? Yeah, and she actually does a really good job. All of the announcing teams in this game are very, very solid. I've been a big fan of them already. I've heard I, all, all of them. Damn, I just got cooked. They just straight ran double crossers there, and as a middle linebacker, what the fuck am I supposed to do? If I stand there, I'm going to get cooked somewhere. Why'd you pick the Vikings? I like their jerseys a lot. I like their stadium, and I like their roster. What do you think of Madden so far? It feels good. It's People keep coming in and asking me, like, is this game better than EA College Football? And I just don't think I can answer that. They're just so different, man. Just such different games. Like, this game feels more weighty and realistic and more slower and methodical, whereas... EA College Football is, like, legitimately balls to the wall, speed, wide open, all the time. It's possible, Dylan. But like, they're, they're just different games. I know it's natural to compare them, because obviously they're both football games, but they're, they feel substantially, substantially different. It's football games. Mm, I need to try to get this out quick. You get Jefferson on, like, a... Deep dig? Nah, I don't love this. I don't love this. Now, play oh my god, what a block. The ah, that's a JJ McCarthy throw. That's that's the kind of throw that people would post on Twitter after the game and be like, JJ McCarthy's a scrub. See, they shouldn't have drafted him. Speed out. One on one with Justin Jefferson here. Gotta feel like he wins this, right? Here's McCarthy to throw. He did. Terrible throw again. Tough. Alright, we're gonna end up only getting three here. That's super unfortunate in this situation. Also, if you don't like the kicking meter on EA College Football, you're gonna enjoy this one more. It's way more forgiving. PFB or Madden, I like I like I've been saying, they're just different games, man. It's hard it's hard to compare and determine which one's better. If you like more realistic and grounded games, you're gonna enjoy Madden more. If you enjoy more arcadey and like wide open and speed based games, you're gonna enjoy EA College football more. And then like the franchise and dynasty, I think they're both really, really good. Um franchise, if you enjoyed like scouting and drafting and making your team for like a 10 year long run then you're going to enjoy Madden. If you like your your roster turning over super regularly, you're, you're going to enjoy EA College Football more. How many wins? We are currently 5-1. and one. Can you change commentators? It's also random. Yeah, it's completely random on commentators. As far as I can tell, at least. What do you think will happen with C.D. Lamb? I think he ends up uh, signing. There's no way in hell that they aren't going to make him re-sign there. Pick that. Out of baby Harrison! Also, didn't really like you taking that out, if we're being honest, but great play, buddy. I like the defensive celebrations, too. They're kind of cool. The presentation definitely took, it took a big step forward in this game. I'm a, big, I'm a big fan of what they did with the presentation. Hope they re-sign him. I think they probably will. He's just He has to stay a Viking his whole career, bro. He's just, like, he's not very athletic, which is the issue in this, in this franchise. Very smart player on the back end, though. Double slants. I'm terrified of throwing double slants because of EA College football. Definitely still solos. Madden looks weird. What's your issue with Madden as far as, like, how it looks? I think college football still does look better presentation-wise, but I don't think Madden has bad presentation. Madden means. I think it definitely got a lot better this, this year's game from, from what I've played so far. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought you were talking about uh, 
Harrison Smith when I was just talking about him. But no, yeah, I, CD is going to stay stay a uh, cowboy. There's no way they let him walk. Can I hate Jay Jettos on a post here? If they're in cover two, I might throw this, man. Go, oh, dump it off. Just lucky to get that away, bro. Interior offensive line collapsed so fast there. That was crazy. Look out here looking like fucking EA college football blocking. Do I feel like Matt, Madden feels slow this year? I feel like the reason people think Madden feels slow is because they've been playing EA college football, which feels very, very fast. Like, this game, if you're straight coming from EA college football, this game feels like unbelievably slow compared to the... It is, Gridiron. I always wanted to ask this, so this feels like the perfect moment, Brock. Is there ever a time where a quarterback feels intentional? I do bench dagger. Can you be in, like, cover three? Oh, bro, this is this is guaranteed. Um, I might take a shot here. Can I get, can I get some time to throw this football? Damn, I got bumped off my route. That sucks. All right, fourth and 23 from the 44. That's such a brutal punt. Yeah, I mean, people just... I don't know. In my opinion, people really, really want to hate on Madden. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of like the trendy thing to do. It's been, it's been bad for a long time, especially the same with 2K. Like 2K, people want to hate on 2K too, but I don't think Madden and 2K inherently are bad games. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. At least a field goal. You're not wrong, Hulking. You are not wrong. Cooper Cup just cooked me. Real. I just don't trust man here, especially against this team's wide receiver core. Pick that. Nice play, though. Had a baby Byron. How times have changed. Sperano, I mean, that's what happens when MLB puts themselves in the situation. Honestly, part of the reason I'm not streaming MLB anymore, or I haven't been streaming MLB, is because no one cares about me. Like, I, what, I just, why would I stream the game that has, like, five people watching it at any given time? Harrison Smith with his second pick of the game, and he's going to take this one to the house, bro. The grandfather of the team out here making plays. Uh, neither, Austin. I'm already level 47 CFP 25. Damn. What's up, Evan? So long overnight, it got so bad. It's just the, the season reset killed that game right now. The, the season reset absolutely crushed MLB The Show this year. It just did. Here he is to throw. I can't believe they ran it back, honestly. I, I was willing to give them one more chance at sets and seasons this year. They have to do away with it. Like, there's no way they can bring sets and seasons back. Here he is to throw. Nice. Huge sack. Offense hurrying to the line with the clock running. Brings up third and 15. Back to throw. Oh my god, he cooked. Damn. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. How's the Pirates game going? I honestly have no idea. I'm so checked out on the Pirates at this point. They've been so hot ass for the last three weeks. Completely ruined their season, man. Announcer low-key annoying? I mean... Is it just because she's a woman? A hurried throw almost ended up an interception. And that wasn't until after they almost brought him down behind the line for a sack. How you like Madden? I'm enjoying it a lot, dude. I'm enjoying it a lot. Gameplay feels pretty good, actually. No, it's not. Are you sure? Oh, my God. Quick out. All right. There's 17 seconds left. I kind of need to lock down here, chat. All right, let's step back here. Show blitz. Bail out. No, I almost did it again. I did it to Aaron Rodgers in the last game, pretending to blitz and then bailing out and getting a pick on the play underneath. That's so brutal. All right, I really need to not choke here, chat. 13 seconds left. No, what are you doing? Byron! Oh, my God. Byron Murphy absolutely got me cooked there. What are you doing, my guy? What are we doing? 
That's crazy. Can you make a team? Yeah, team builder's in this game. It just hasn't dropped yet. Ducks play the Vandals? Let's go, Greg. Although, I got I hope you guys just absolutely toast them. That's a pick. Don't be a pick six, please. Don't be a pick six. Oh, my God. Good job. Good luck, good luck if you play Tyreek. I mean, that's fair. Defense needs your help. I'm going to end up losing this game, aren't I? How did they get the ball at the 15 to start? Hello? Did they change the OT rules this year in the NFL? No way, right? It's not more college-based, is it? Oh, pick! Byron Murphy makes up for it! He literally is going to take it to the house to end the game. Gives up the game-time touchdown with seven seconds left. Comes back and makes the play of his life in overtime to win the game. Let's go! Huge! Damn. At a baby Byron. At a baby Byron. What a brain dead decision by Matt Stafford. This takes too long. This is why I play the moments, especially if I want a quick rebuild, JR. Right, Bakes? All right, chat. We're going to play one more, and then we're going to call it a night. I thought this was going to be the last game, but honestly, God, I'm enjoying myself. So we'll play one more. And these games don't take very long, so. Can you do onside kick still? Yes. Damn, this is nuts. We're, like, we're cruising right now on all Madden. Kenneth Walker in the throwback? Yep, Sploofy. Rocking the K-Walker. K-Walker throwback. Oh, wait, no. There's new, there's new onside kick rules, right? You can't onside kick until, like, the final three minutes of the game, and you have to be down to score. That's right. They they changed how onside kicks work in the NFL. Hold groin. Naylor's out for four weeks. That's tough. Roy's out for one more week. Goodwin's out for two more weeks. Haven't been killed with injuries. Early in the season, we were having a rough go of it with injuries. Thoughts on the game? It feels pretty good, dude. It feels pretty good. Oh, for sure. The Kenneth Walker jersey is big sick, dude. Sick. Indianapolis Colts now coming into Minnesota. We're going to play one more game in our... First of all, we're going to play one more game tonight, but then also we're going to play. Hi, Huck. What are you doing, buddy? Where you been? All right. We're looking to throw it short again, and we're also going to wear our white jerseys. Where is it compared to NCAA? Uh, it's hard to compare. I've been saying this pretty much anytime anyone asks me tonight. It's really hard to compare the two games because they're so different. It's it, like it, EA college football is so open and fast and speed based. And this game feels a lot more realistic and weighty and just like slower paced. So if you're more into like the arcadey style, like super speed kills style, you're going to enjoy EA college football. If you want more of like a realistic football feel, that's what that's what this game's going to give you. Killer, it's been fun, man. It's been fun. One more game tonight. Play the moments. Let's go. Let's get it. I didn't wear my whites. I didn't wear my whites. Damn it. Game looks like shit. I mean, it plays fine, so. Oh, I'm using uh, uh, JJ. JJ's been good, too. He's been really good for me. It technically did come out on 13th for early access, but it's the 13th at, um, like, Universal Time. So, it was basically the 13th when it hit in Europe, which was 4 p.m. Eastern today. Uh, Friday, Jackson. Friday at midnight. All right, third and six here. Let's see if we can hit him with a nice little screen, maybe? Throw on third down. Gets it off. Gets the block. Damn, that was a nasty game. Woo! Aaron Jones into the end zone. Love it. Gameplay feels good, dude. Gameplay's been fun. 
honestly, like, it's just, it feels different to EA College Football. So if you're coming in expecting it to be like EA College Football, you're really going to have to take some time to adjust. But Darnold in? No, we're, we're cooking with JJ. First down from the red zone. Oh, shit. I fell off Jonathan Taylor there. That's tough. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone. Instead, stopped at the two. That Can you choose your announcers for every game? Nope, it's random. What's McCarthy's rating? He started it in 71. He's up to a 75 for me right now. Oh, that's a great option. Anthony Richardson, you psychopath. It is a yards go, Tat, yeah. Freaking Anthony Richardson was just like, huh? Freaking sky high there. That's crazy. Seems like a legit Richardson run, facts. Did you, uh, I, I really enjoyed the pre, the pre-snap movement defensively, bro. The fact that, like, defenders don't keep moving around up until the point, basically, the ball snap makes this game feel so realistic, like, graphically. Like, just seeing all the, the defenders adjust before they finally get set. This post could be wide open if that's safety. No, it's cover three. Dump it off. Jordan Addison coming across. Love it. Looks very good to you. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you enjoy football, you're probably going to enjoy this game. You wonder why he gets concussed? Facts. That baby Jay. Oh, ball's out. Dive on it. We're chilling. Yeah, he, he really just goes balls to the wall all the time. You got to respect Richardson for just going for broke every time he runs the ball. At some point, he's going to have to learn to defend himself, but... I mean, you got to respect it. Wide open. Let's so. I don't think that was a catch, if I'm being honest. I don't think he got two feet down. I'm kind of curious, like, if slot fades work in this game. They're so good in EA College football, but historically, they've just not been good in in this game. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, my God. What a play by the safety. Okay. Fair enough. I needed to get the, that more to the back back corner. Good play by safety is what it is. Third and short here, trying to pass. Oh, God damn it. Get killed in the flat. The rebuild looking good so far with the Vikings. They're good on this game. I didn't expect this roster to perform as well as it's doing right now. Go quarterback contain here, please. Dude. Damn. What a ball. Good ball by Richardson. Great catch by the tight end. Fair enough. Fair enough. Third and two. Let's go inside zone. See if we can just get it across. How's the pup in? He's good. You a Vikings fan? I'm a Steelers fan. I just thought the Vikings roster looked really fun. And I thought it was going to be a fun rebuild. Saints? The Saints would be cool. Is it any different than last year? No. It feels pretty similar to last year. To be honest. Um, you can, the physics have definitely changed and it feels like weight of ball carriers and weight of defenders matters way more than it has in prior games. But overall, like it, it, it's still mad, right? I'm getting cooked right now, by the way. Anthony Richardson is making me his bitch. Oh, huge play, huge play. Ah, he rolls in tough. College football or this? I've been telling everyone who asks me what's better, college football or this game, that it's hard to tell because they play so differently. Like, this game is so... It feels so much more realistic than college football does, but college football is a little bit more arcadey and more, like, open and speed-based. They're just different games, man. It's really, really hard to, to ascertain which one is better as far as, like, gameplay goes. If, if you're more into, like, the realism feel, you're probably going to enjoy this game more. If you're more into, like, the arcade feel, you're going to enjoy college football more. Double mug. Please don't be bringing both of them. They're not. Holy shit. Who was that, bro? Just obliterated my offense line. That's brutal. You playing on pro? No, I'm playing on all Madden. Coming and bearing down, and he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. Swing those plays in hindsight. Triangle was open. I just didn't have enough time. All right, third and twenty-seven. That's not ideal. Not ideal, Chad. 
Oh, for sure, Jackson. We're eating, man. This is going to be a really, really fun a fun fall of playing video games, if we're being honest. Oh, Cook. Hawkinson, Cook. JJ hits him in stride, and that's a Viking touchdown. What week are you in your franchise? This is week eight, I believe. Week eight or nine. How's the game so far? One out of ten? It's like an eight. It's fun. I'm enjoying it. Damn, this game is crazy. We are... We are absolutely, like, going at it right now with them. Did you do the trade deadline? I did not, actually. I think that the trade deadline's next week. Good, I heard it isn't, but I don't know if it's true. I like it. I mean, if you're, like, crazy, crazy sticks and want to be able to, like, crazy change on a dime and do all that kind of stuff, then you're probably not going to like it. But it feels really realistic. Like, slower, bigger players are going to move, like, or change direction slower than smaller, quicker players. So, commentator is terrible. There's just a lot of people that don't like the, fa the fact that there's a woman commentator. I've had, like, four people come in and just be like, oh, I can't stand the woman. Carthy looking to throw. Step up. Add baby JJ. Who do you think Ayuk will sign with? Got it. I hope he ends up as a Steeler. <laughs> Please. Could see JJ fight for the starting job. I mean, if he keeps playing the way he's doing right now in the preseason, it's going to be hard for the Vikings not to start him. Third and one. Can you guys go ahead and pinch, please? Oh, I went the wrong way. I mean, not a bad job defensively there. Just not enough to stop him. JJ won't play until at least week six. You think with the hard schedule to start, they're not just going to throw him in there? I mean, if you don't, like, if you think JJ's ready and you just don't want him to play hard teams, basically what you're saying is you're giving up on the season. And they bring him down at the seven yard line. And it's six on the play, bringing up second and four. I like. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I really enjoy the three new commentary teams. I think they're 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 really good. I think all three of them work really well. And the fact that you don't know what commentary your team you're getting going into a game, so it's like constantly fresh with new commentators, is one of the the best possible things on this. Now McCarthy. Able to that was a late hit too. Thank you. And good tackle, but a flag is dead. The, the, like, sprint jukes are crazy in this game, bro. I need to start using those way more. You juke, you juke like, like nuts. I don't know if they're as effective as they were in EA College Football before the patch, but damn, you juke a long way. No, it isn't, but I think a Tom Brady. To me, not only the greatest QB sneaker in the game, but he was one of the Big Gator, have you played any of it yet? How you feeling? And Kill Harry being on the field is not what I want in this situation. JJ Tutter. Hi, baby. Is tomorrow a CFB stream? I probably won't stream tomorrow. Probably won't stream tomorrow. Probably take a day off. I've been streaming a lot recently. I need to spend some time with the wife. It's been out for like four hours. Vibes. Actually, longer than that. But not much longer than that. Play the read option here. Good shit. This is early access. EJ Watts, he's an ending injury. Oh, my God. That's brutal. That's brutal. Losing TJ to a, a season injury, injury would be just worst case scenario for the Steelers this year. All right, we're going to go cover six press. We're going to blitz this linebacker and then drop him back in coverage. Make a tackle. Nice. Third and nine. Thought we couldn't play until tomorrow. Technically, it was tomorrow at midnight, but it was midnight in the in Europe. So. All right, dump back. Make a tackle. Fourth and six. They're not in field goal range. Do you think they go for this? There's no way they are kicking a fucking... This is a crazy field goal, bro. Oh, it's blocked! Huge play! Let's go! Probably college. I'm streaming on Twitch and Twitter. Bro, what a play. Oh, my God.
on a potential game-winning field goal? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, I would just start your rebuild, man. You're going to be able to play it when you actually buy the game. Dude, that's that's nuts. So good field position to start might be 0-7, Madden had Heisman Scott difficulty. You're not wrong. All Madden doesn't even feel in the same planet on as uh, Heisman, bro. I'm cooking right now. I'm six and one right now in this in this rebuild. Good ball. Had a baby Jordan. Jordan Addison's starting to get real good. Yeah, Shaq Griffin making the play there. JJ McCarthy's cooking, man. He's he's been so good for me so far this season. It's crazy. He's he's damn near gonna be guaranteed rookie of the year. That is not what I wanted to do here, if I'm being honest. Can I get Addison on a drag? We have one minute and five seconds. We have a long time. Good cut. Had a baby. Break thousand this year. I can see that. Although I don't know how much they're going to be throwing the football at least early in the year in Minnesota. Like I don't know if they end up with two different thousand yard receivers. Time to run. Aaron Jones gets down. Colts take the timeout. That's fine. I don't know if I love just like selling out, getting in field goal range right now, to be honest. Like we're still at the 30. This is a long field goal. I guess I could force them to use their last timeout and then start throwing the ball a little bit. Oh, just kidding. Aaron Jones is just going to go ahead and put us in real good position here. All right, chat. Let's go ahead and get this set up for a easy kick. That's on Joe Milton. He's been good. Still past 1K? Yeah, that's nice. Two months ago, dude's a goat. He's so good. He's been so... Wow. What in what world? All right. We'll run one more time here. I'll try to snap this with like 15, 20 seconds left. Just see if we can get a couple more yards and then set down in the middle and try to take an easy kick. They're out of timeouts, which should mean we're, we don't have to deal with any icing or anything like that. But did I think Hawkinson was still on the Lions? He got traded. He got traded. All right. So we'll snap this with like 20 seconds left. Please don't fumble, Aaron, whatever you do. Back to the well again. All right, that's fine. Get a couple yards there. Take it down to three seconds left. Call the last time out and then kick the field goal. Two, 2K would be nuts. Good chip. All right, kick the field goal and then end stream, chat. To see if be better. They're different games, man. They're different games. I'm going to post a video tomorrow on it, but like I've been saying, EACFB is really like an open speed style game madden is a more realistic slower methodical game so if like if you're more into like speed style games you're gonna enjoy eacfb more if you're into more like realistic football games you're gonna enjoy this game more i might have just missed that now we're chilling i'm gonna do the trade line trade deadline uh, i'll probably do the trade deadline next stream it madden or college football i think they're both good games so far based on what they've played but they still managed to set up the other thing is, like, do you enjoy college football or do you enjoy NFL more? Is Team Builder in Madden? It will be. It hasn't launched yet. AJ McCarthy's cooking, by the way, chat, in case you guys are wondering. 38-35. The Vikings are 7-1. and one. JJ goes for 326, three touchdowns, one pick for a 126.5 passer rating, which is just absurd for a rookie. Jonathan Taylor cooks me for 104 yards. We're not running the ball very much out of this Bengals playbook, if I'm being honest. Addison goes for 115. Jefferson goes for 72. Defensively, any sacks? Van Ginkle gets one, and Harrison Smith and Cameron Bynum both get interceptions. Probably won't start. Oh, he's not starting. Sounds good, Evan. Have a good rest of your night, man. All right, let's go ahead and advance, and then we'll check out J.J. McCarthy's stats before we call tonight. It's four upgrades? Hello? Yo, what? They were not joking about rookies being able to advance. Where'd you get the jersey? Directly from the Seahawks team store at the stadium. Damn, that's crazy. He just got plus four attribute upgrades there. 
He's actually getting good, dude. 91 throw power, 86 deep accuracy, 88 medium accuracy, 92 short accuracy, 87 throw on the run, 85 play action. That's crazy. His dev trait, as far as I know, is a star. And then Ivis, Ivan Pace Jr. gets an, a nice upgrade. He's turning into a very, very good linebacker for me. He's he's went plus four this season. Yeah, I think JJ's a star. I, if I remember right, I heard none. There's no rookie superstars in this in this draft class, which is interesting. Well, that's that's nuts, dude. Getting that many overall points in one week is something I've never really experienced except for the end of the season. All right, chat. So let's go ahead and check his statistics real quick before we jump off. Currently third in the NFL in passing yards. He has 2,200 yards, 16 touchdowns, five picks at the halfway point for 110 passer rating. Also has 267 yards rushing and 10 rushing touchdowns. 26 total touchdowns through half season. That'll play. Justin Jefferson has 600 receiving yards. Hawkinson has 400. Aston has 400. Aston did miss half the season, though. I'm enjoying the UI a lot. I agree. The changes they made quality of life wise are really, really big for this, this franchise mode, man. All right, chat, let's go ahead and call it on that one. We will catch you guys on the flip side. Next game will be a seven and two Jacksonville Jaguars team. If I play Madden next, I might go back to EA CFB for the next stream. We'll see. Uh, or maybe we'll do a split stream one, one in the next, but we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Everyone stay safe out there. Peace.